So, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, we are playing as our High Elf. I was good. I was about to say Whispers in Shadow, but that ain't true. <laughs> uh, Selril. And he is on a journey to collect all the relics. If you want to know more about his backstory, well, watch previous episodes. Holy crap. Uh, all you really need to know is he is the proprietor of a museum collection. And we are looking for Nimura's relic as a present. Um, the, we've eaten human flesh before when we were an accidental secret werebear. We are no longer a werebear, but we remember human flesh and all that. So... Uh, we are we are taking part in Namira's little ritual for in order to get her relic. That's what is going on here at present. Yes. So let's have a look. Don't worry, our case protection is absolute. Absolute protection. Yes. You know that my master. <clears throat> Manny Marco, God of Worms, <laughs> he does not like RK very much. It's true. So we might have to just kind of um, nuke someone. Yes. Do -do. Yeah. Let me look at one more thing. Okay. Now, almost done. Yeah, you say apotheosis. That that's the it that no the, the will see apotheosis covered under will see. Uh, when I, uh, it's not like uh, beyond Skyrim or. Um, Skywind, Sky Oblivion, where I consider it a must play. It's a, uh, we'll see. People, uh, tend to hype up things quite a bit when I'm not entirely sure I will make a new playthrough just for that thing. Also, see how it would stack up with other mods. Hello? You're the one casts those illusions. Am I the one who casts those illusions? It'd be great if illusion was something other than just direct mind affecting abilities. Um, goodness knows, didn't we have Ghost Walk, Illusionary Pyre, Mimic's Cloak? Yeah, I, I really wish that you could actually create physical illusions. Like, you know, illusion works in other game worlds. Like illusion, for example, you could produce an illusionary bridge that you could actually walk across. Or you could create an illusionary creature that would vanish once it uh, the spell went away. Obviously, those, um, those who have the ability to see through the illusions, actually, it's a double-edged sword, for example. If you had uh, true sight on, you might fall straight through the illusionary bridge because seeing is believing. Likewise, um, an illusionary creature might not hurt someone who has true sight. Uh, stuff like that. There's so much to unpack when it comes to uh, like the, the use of illusions in other fantasy worlds. And quite frankly, The Elder Scrolls is lacking. Really, really lacking. It's why mods that touch illusion typically have a lot of uh, really neat stuff. Because you can really delve uh, deeply into uh, the potential there. Now, I don't have that much in the way of illusionists, but uh, illusionist powers. But I have illusion at cap, I believe. I've been using muffle for everything. Yeah, we've capped illusion. Uh, what we've gone up is we've gone up the tree commanding presence where I have an aura that gives all allied creatures 20 extra attack damage and 20 critical strike along with extra armor and magic resistance and um, then, uh, you know, twice as powerful uh, if I remain over 75% health. And then if I get hit, they will be compelled to attack whoever hit me, uh, dealing 250% extra damage. That's uh, 
what I have set up there. Yes. So, um, yeah, we don't talk about Naruto. We definitely don't. Except to recommend a Plague of Gripes video called Naruto the Self-Made Hypocrite. Pretty good. It's uh, a little analysis of Naruto's failings as a story. Is this what you want? Damn. Yeah. Takes care of that. Kind of hilarious because uh, he's done so many storyline deconstructions of things, despite. Uh, Despite his actual uh, revenue source being drawing furry women. Yes. That, that, that's his income stream, is drawing furry women. And yet he, uh, he does so many... Uh, he has so many good insights about uh, various uh, Japanese cartoons and general Japanese media. Oh, there's a bouncer. Why the hell is there a bouncer here? Note to Idril. Uh, go out and find the missing pit wolves. Oh, crap. That guy was part of the pit wolf faction. Wow, look at this gilded ebony shield. It's an ebony shield with gold on it. What? That's great. Yes. Yeah. Um, let me see here. Um... I'm sorry, but I'm pregnant. You're the father. And the baby? The baby is. Spiders! No, no, Thousands no. of spiders! Not again! <laughs> Damn it! Why? Why would you like this? Uh, Plug of Gripes, I believe, is the name, and he he deconstructs a lot of different um, a lot of different stories that are in uh, popular media, like anime and such. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. When was your first meal back? Do dogs count? Of course they don't count. My friend Marix, we were hunting, and I thought he was an elk. That must have been quite a surprise. Either way, I came back with meat for the table. I came back with meat for the table. Here we go. This guy has to be convinced... I remember my first feast. I envy you. Now this is going to be a good feast. Here we go. Who, who are you? What's going on? Priest of Arche. I'm your friend. I remember my first feast. Right. I envy you. Yes, I'm your friend. And I've invited you to dinner. I've been invited to dinner. I'm so hungry. Why don't you lay down and rest while we get the meal ready? I need to lay down. I'll just be a minute. Come with me. Our feast is about to begin. Right. It's feasting time, don't you know? Of course you know. Ah, the new disciple. I hear you have quite the appetite. Hmm. So we've got a fellow Altmer here. Let's get started. The meal is on Namira's table. Go ahead, Carr. Time to clunk. Eight. He looks so sweet. Go ahead. Have eight. Immortal. I am Namira, the Lady of Decay. Your consumption of the blood and bile of Arcade's own is pleasing to me. I give you my ring, 
Wear it. And when you feast on the flesh of the dead, I will grant you my power. <laughs> Did you hear Ramarin right there? Did you hear Ramarin? <laughs> what's on the meal? Oh, 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 sorry. What's on the menu? People again? Oh, fine. But I'm not eating anything below the waist. That's what he he just said. <laughs> Holy shit! Thank you, my lady. Wallow in your wretchedness, my newest champion. I knew when you walked into the Hall of the Dead that you were special. Yes. Brother Varnius, I'll be taking your... Well, everything, really. I mean everything. Yes. I knew when you walked into the Hall of the... And here you are, champion of Namira, keeper of her ring. You're everything I hoped you'd be. Okay. Uh, thank you. It's an honor, champion. Feel free to stay and mingle with your new coven. I don't think so. This this ring belongs in a museum. Along with the Shrine of Numera, which we already have a copy of the first time we came here. Uh, how you doing? It's an honor, Keeper of the Ring. Right. Uh, what you're doing. Oh, I can take the silver. Nice. I like how uh, they don't care if I take the silver. That's great. How you doing? Praise to you, champion. Indeed. I like how that dialogue could be used for anything. Praise for you, praise to you, champion. Just, uh, th these sweet rolls are just Thanks covered in blood. To dinner, praise to you, champion. Yeah, I'm just taking the silver. Praise to you, champion. Praise to you, champion. Yes. Wait, wait he said, uh, ironic that you killed a priest of RK with the Crusader's mace for a Daedric Prince's cause. Speak. What are you talking about? I keep, I keep the. Uh, I keep the Mace of the Crusader charged with human souls harvested with the Black Star. And those human souls are offered up in praise to my master, Manny Marco, God of Worms. <laughs> now... That said, I am able to adequately use that mace. I'll show you in a second. So, I am able to take that mace, and I am able to use um, denting blows to reduce enemy's armor, and smite to deal six times critical damage, yes, and eight times against undead. It's amazing. And you may be thinking, using a holy mace, smiting people? You know, you you look at that and you ask yourself, "What's a paladin?" But the answer is not me. Certainly not me, because I have um, I, I'm looking at this. I got Bone Collector, Ravenous Dead, Dead Tide, Edge of Oblivion, you know, Undead Crown, Necromaster, March of Oblivion. No, I'm. I'm I'm quite a nasty person, so yes. Praise to you, champion. Mm-hmm. Not too full on bread and wine, I hope. I always leave room for the main course, Eola. Yes. Alrighty then. More of a black guard slash anti paladin. Oh no. I mean, that's honestly a little little closer to being accurate. I'm not undead yet, so I can't be a death knight, but, uh, oh boy. We're not talking about a Warcraft death knight. Those are, uh, everything after the original death knights are kind of, uh, just terrible. Don't get me wrong. I, I enjoyed Arthas's presence uh, in the story. Like, I really liked, to you, champion. I really liked Arthas, but the original death knights were nothing like the Scourge Death Knights. They were um, orc souls shoved into uh, hu uh, human knight containers. Yep. Du -du. You are a high elf using a human, a divine human relic used to fight elves. Correct. 
I'm glad you're you're starting to understand how many layers we've got going on and how wrong this is. That's um that's intentional. Everything is a twisted perversion of its original self. I mean, I'm a high elf who's uh, get this dragonborn. Uh, you know, the, the Nord hero, our hero, our hero. What? Um, we we consider them snow monkeys. Other other than the the occasional underworld uh, people like uh, the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild, we've encountered stupid people high and low in Skyrim. It's not a great place to be. However, um, the let's just say the uh, the darker uh, sorts of uh, people, the um, the people who are less uh, let's say engaged in extra legal affairs, they, these people tend to be a bit smarter, just a bit. Uh, we need to use our crucible. We need to put all our alchemy ingredients that we've collected away. Yes. Why so much carry weight? Crucible needs more stuff. God. I'm just, uh, what's inside the crucible, you ask? <laughs> How many purple flowers do you think we got? Only 15,000 purple mountain flowers. What about yellow? Turns out we only have seven. So yellow mountain flowers are actually much harder to get. Yes. Du -du. Mm hmm. What's in the urn? Hmm. Draw a figure. Let's see here. That's a draft. Yes, a draw. Exactly. All right, so we've got Namira's ring now. Th this belongs in a museum. And I'm just thinking about all the levels of. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think it was ring. Uh, t -t 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 I think we gave Ring of Nimero over to Romar, and we're going to look at it really quick. Hold on. Um, uh, Ring of Nimero. Here we go. Okay, so creates a 50-point ward with a 15% chance to reflect spells and melee damage. Bidding on corpses gives you increased health and health regeneration for five minutes. Chance to catch a disease from feeding. <laughs> oh, God. Wait a second. If you use the Ring of Namira while a follower of Periate, you would get bonuses for each disease that your character has. Oh, God. That would be amazing. I I'm just contemplating how absurd that is. Well, we've done it. Okay, morning never comes. We got to return to Astrid now. I think uh, we're already at the cave. I guess we just need to trudge through the reach and get back over to the leader. Uh, we got to kill the leader of Knife Point Ridge and then uh, get back to Astrid. There we go. Uh, do, 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 do. What do you do with the artifacts you have to choose? I make replicas of the others. The, the game... Um, the game lets you actually um, make replicas of any relic you chose not to get. Like the, for example, the Ring of Hersing, we have a replica of in the museum, in the Daedric Gallery, um, because we had to choose whether we wanted Savior's Hide or the Ring of Hersing. We, we chose Savior's Hide, and that's in the museum along with a replica of the Ring of Hersing. How does our character know what the Ring of Hersing looks like? Eh, inspiration just comes to us. We, we are an artisan, after all. Both of the dead and of the uh, the material. Yes. All right, let's see. Yeah, we just need to head down this road. Good, good, good. Which, uh, oh, which events in Skyrim are considered canon to Elder Scrolls Six? Um, no one's going to give a shit. Uh, like, literally. Well, they're going to go out of their way to not reference stuff. You'll see. Uh, oh, hello. I, oh, crap. That that witch is frightening. We gotta, we gotta snipe her if we can. She's, she's respond. Ah, uh, damn it. 
I'm trying to snipe that witch, and it's it's not good. We've got all kinds of shenanigans going on here. Yeah, we we are actually we are almost dead. We just got sniped. So we're going with uh, health fortification, magic of fortification, and we need resist fire, and there should have a shock. Oh, we don't have any resist shock. Damn it. Uh, are we sure we don't have any re resist? Uh, resist poison? Nope, we don't have any resist shock. This is unfortunate. She just... Oh, God! Well, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. <laughs> we didn't see the big guy there. Um, My goodness. Yes. I mean, once they set it in a different location, they just don't have to reference what happened. Or, or they might say after the Civil War was over, X happened, which uh, completely negated the result. Meaning that it doesn't matter. Like, none of it mattered at all. Because, um, you know, the whole, the whole thing was taken over by um, a new order that uh, completely replaced both the Stormcloaks and the Imperials. And now a new High King has been elected. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You know, a moot happened. We're, we're going to run around that camp. We don't need to go through it right now. There's nothing for us in that camp. That is just, uh, like, we've already cleared that camp of uh, any kind of relics. So anything that, that spawns there is just not our concern. Uh, there's Maik again. He'll probably say he's tired now. Maik is tired. Hey, watch it. Yes. Ooh. It doesn't have to be set in the future. It just needs to be set somewhere else. And they don't they don't need to reference anything. It's that simple. People love hearing callbacks, but they don't need to. Yes. Uh, do you know that Elder Scrolls 6 is going to be chronologically placed after Skyrim? Uh, you don't know that. And you know what's uh, funny? I have a deep contempt for setting sequels before in, in timelines. Like... I really, I really hate that, you know, making a prequel sequel. Uh, Beyond uh, Good and Evil 2, oh boy. That's uh, exciting stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. So. It said, uh, you typed it right before I answered already? No, not really. Um, I read your thing and commented on it. It's just that uh, for those who refresh the chat every once in a while, um, it's very snappy. The easiest way to avoid determining results for Skyrim is to take the place during the same time frame, just in a different place. Yes. Wait. You there, the traveler. Over here. Vigilance of Stendar? Oh. <laughs> I see. Vigilance of Stendar. Okay, you thought it was way too fast? Was it now? Okay, uh, let's see here. Hmm. What's up? Never should have come here. I knew it! I knew it! Punk! And we got gargoyles. Damn it! I'm almost dead because they're draining my health. I'm grabbing you! Come on, vampire! Clunk it, clunk it, clunk it! Damn! Clunk it! No, I, I got killed by uh, everything. Yes. It says Vigilant Stendar, but they're secret vampires. They just killed the Vigilance and took their gear. Um, that was, that was frightening. Okay. Yo, hello, supposed vigilance of Stendar. How are you guys doing? That's, never should have come here. My answer is to summon the dead. That, this is my answer. Okay. So that, that vampire is stuck in the water? No problem there. She'll just drift downstream. 
Oh god, I said- I- Are you kidding me? She drained me from across the bridge! Wow. <laughs> uh. The Mike character talks about things that have already happened, not things that will happen. You're wrong. Um, all right, let's try again. You're as good as so, let's try this again. This time we need to get extra crunchy. God damn it. The, uh, okay. So we need to figure out where that uh, target is. She's swimming over there. As long as you're swimming, you're basically uh, um, a sitting duck. So, yeah, about that. Oh, God damn it. Where'd she go? Swimming back over there? I don't even care anymore. We gotta focus on this. Yeah, this this vampire here. Good. Last one. Oh god, she summoned two, didn't she? Okay. Oh, there's another one. Damn it! That that drain is uh, something else. Okay. Got him. Oof, my goodness. Unarmored ebony mage robes. Nice. Oh, we got a new weapon. I'm about to die. Ah, uh, jeez, no. No, 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 no. Magic, health. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Woo! That was painful. We got him down to one. And that person just stood on this little area where my skeletons couldn't path, used a gargoyle to tank. You see how powerful that vampire is? That's, that's some ridiculous stuff right there. All right, let's do this again. Um, wait, hold on. Uh, Elena, we need to talk about um, resist. Yes. Fortify shock. Uh, just fortify destruction. Okay, this should do it. We're going to immediately start off with our fortifications. So we're going to do a couple things. We're going to, we're going to, first of all, uh, step one is fortify alteration, resist poison, uh, fortify destruction, resist shock, fortify one-handed armor, and uh, fortify one-handed weapon. Yes, uh, fortify one-handed heavy armor, I mean. Uh, then we need to fortify our magic and our, um, our health. And then we are immediately going to summon our skeletons. And then we're going to grab one of you guys and just murder the crap out of you. I say I'm going to murder the crap out of you, but I actually don't mean that because I'm going to cast Dragonhide first. So uh, <laughs> I like how they're not alarmed at all. They're, they're not alarmed at all. There's no point in time in which they, they are concerned. So uh, this lady here, she's got to die first. So uh, we're going to clunk her with the power of... Uh, this here and uh, she she's she is so clunked all right we need to finish her off before anything else happens okay she is actually dead the game doesn't know that she's dead but she, she's got a dragon steel katana and that's amazing uh, additionally she is disable enable and there she is she's actually dead the game is uh, bad at acknowledging that this this vampire ran because i uh i may have accidentally uh scurred her off uh let me see here. The, the other one is extra annoyed, I would say. Yeah, he, he's trying to run as well. It's funny how they uh, how they are now extra scared. And there's still one left over here. That's kind of funny. Oh, God, she's getting beaten up. A mud crab. Oh, no. Yeah, we drained her magic, so she can't really do much right now. She's regenerating it. Damn. Where is she? She's still getting her ass kicked by that mud crab, I think. Yeah, yeah. She's getting nibbled to death by a mud crab. Oh, no, I killed the mud crab. All right, now she only knows me. He only knows I'm here. Okay, so step one, we're going to take this Mace of the Crusader. 
We're going to recharge it using the black star. And then we're going to trap her soul and we're going to shove it in the black star to continue feeding this divine mace. Okay, she's been affected. Um, there she is. We're going to summon our followers and just say, hey, look, you need to stop doing what you're doing and get on the uh, island. Yes, she just got crunched. That's fine. I'm just looking at this vampire like, what the hell are you doing? Okay, this is stupid. This is incredibly stupid. I'm just, I'm just going to grab her and pull her onto the island using uh, Shazam. I ain't got to explain shit. Oh, never mind. I got her. I was going to use Shazam. Then I realized I... Uh... Good. We got her soul shoved into the Black Star, just as it should be. We'll take her everything. And that's that. So, uh, we defeated the vampire encounter. <laughs> we only had to summon a whole group of skeletons and prepare with potions and everything. But we defeated the skeleton encounter. Okay, the, these vampies are uh, quite dead. I suppose we should take a moment and um, and har harvest some, uh, some good old vampy flesh. Might be nice. We're just... Um, uh, got some more vampy flesh, yes. Oh, that's a Vigilant of Stendar corpse. It doesn't matter, his flesh is good too. Uh, yes, we, we want... Wait, th this vampy, we can't take his flesh. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Okay then, this ash pile had uh, skeletal parts on it. No big deal, just... Uh, something I... What happened, Elena said, looking at the corpse of the vampire... Uh, jeez. What, what do you mean, what happened? You killed it. You killed it good. Alright, let's get some more vampy flesh. Very good. That'll do it. Nice and harvested. Nice and harvested. Okay. So, we are now heading back up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Checking what else we got. Uh, oh, that is a bear. Yeah, okay, well, this should be easy enough. Yep. Come on. Come on. The bear is convulsing and sliding down the hill at the same time. Good riddance, I say. How many hours? I don't know. Probably not very far into the game. Yeah, only 255 hours. No problem there. Okay, let's skin the pelt. Harvest the ingredients. Ooh, heavy armor increased. That probably means we're in combat right now. Hmm. Nope. Nope, nope. Gotta keep going. There's some goat. Yeah, we don't really need to pass the goat. We'll grab everything the goat has, though. Remove it from existence. There we go. Nice, freshly harvested goat. Those horns, the hide, the legs. I only need the animal bones. We can grind the animal bones down. It's not a big deal. There's someone here who will talk about, my poach ain't hurting anything. Right? I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Yes, yes, you have. See you. Contemplating, uh... Ending that particular person. Hmm. I hear a giant. I don't know why I hear a giant, but I definitely hear a giant. Okay. I heard a thump of some sort. Some sort of thump. What time is it? It's basically midnight. We should probably rest for eight hours. Um. Guess we have rain shelter we can use. We just uh, dive behind this. Uh, yeah, we'll set up a shelter right here on the edge of the road. Uh, oh wait, wait, is this old old Heraldon? Um, hmm. I think old Heraldon's around here, like up that road. Let's go grab that because we'll get a quest to get um, the Sword of Tiber Septum, I believe, which is fine. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Old Heraldon. 
Yep. Old Heraldon's supposed to be a uh, town, right? Yeah, you know, Skyrim's version of town is a uh, single building. Skyrim's version of city is small town. All right. Skyrim's version of town is actually... Yeah. You drink too much? You're out. No drunks. This is the old Heraldon Inn. Clean beds and strong drink. You're awfully mature for your age. Watch your tongue, stranger. We don't take back talk in this inn. Damn. Well. Uh, no, thanks. Hmm. You hire me and you hire the best. If you got the boon, put it up and you'll have the fiercest warrior in all of Skyrim. Hmm. What brings you to Old Heraldon? What does it look like? I'm a sellsword. You hiring? Hmm. What are your qualifications? I grew up in an orc stronghold. That good enough for you? No thanks. Uh huh. Mm, let's see. Tidings, Sarah. My name is Asteria. A traveling bard on her way to Mark. I require no coin or patronage for my services. Goodbye. Should my verse please you, then I would be most gracious if you spread word of my song to the citizens of the Reach. Bye. All my skeletons are creaking. All the skeletons are creaking. The grinding of bones will follow me everywhere. Truly, it is a curse. All right. I don't see anything else we need to worry about at the moment. Uh, where did Papa go? He's off fighting the war, dear, for the Stormcloaks. Last time you said he was fighting for the Empire. Yep, I'm sure he's doing well there. Ah, uh, Jace. Last time you said he was fighting for the Empire. Oh. What happened to Daddy? <laughs> Sorry, old Heraldon doesn't have any more liquor, it turns out. Something weird happened. I don't really know what to say about that. All liquor just vanished one day. Okay. Yes, why are there only uh, human children in uh, uh, Skyrim and none in Oblivion? I think you know the answer. You just don't want to uh, speak it aloud. Like, the answer is staring you right in the face. Okay. So, card of shadows and a lockpick. Let's see here. Yes. Oh, what was this? Dramora Gold Mead. That belongs in the museum. Yes, it does. Okay. I haven't killed very many soldiers, except those who attacked me, of course. That is a different matter altogether. Hmm. I suppose we'll have to stay here the night. We're gonna have to spend some real coin. Hello. Need something? You'll be looking to rent Tiber Septim's room, I take it? Yes, I will. Uh, tell me about Tiber Septim's room. That's right. In the Second Era, Tiber Septim himself led the army that conquered Old Heraldon from the barbarians of the Reach. Septim would later found the empire that united Tamriel, but his first known battle and victory was right here. And this inn has the very bed the great general slept in on his first night as Old Heraldon's liberator, as good as it was hundreds of years ago. Okay, I'll rent Tiber Septim's room then. Have a good rest. It's the big room with the double bed. Yes. Can you show me uh, my room? You can ask. No, thanks. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Damn. She already did. Damn shame about that. Let's take a moment before bed and pray. Right in her presence. Pray... 176.4%. Okay. Let's sleep for eight hours. Then we'll be ready for adventure.
or I need to have a meal, but we can just order one at the inn. We have enough wealth now that we can actually we can actually take up the services of the tavern. We're just going to uh, order a meal here. There we go. Uh, one more. Uh, we'll, we'll order a second meal just to be sure. There we go. Uh, hello, Mr. Ghosty. How you doing? Shanti, is that you? I've been waiting. What are you talking about? You promised me, Yalti. You promised that when we sat folded, you would make me your sworn brother. And I've waited. Even after the enemy's arrows dug into my chest and their hammers crushed my bones, I've waited. Give me your sword, Yalti. That we may become brothers, as you promised. Alright, I'll find your sword. I long to taste battle again. So, uh, tell me where you're from. You don't remember me, Jolte? Two campaigns we served together. You saved my life time and time again. I see. Goodbye. That's fine. No need to worry about that. Oof. Let's figure out where we're going now. Uh, let's see. So we have to find his sword. We're going to add that to our list of things we need to do. Hmm. Dragon Bridge Overlook. Is that a real thing? Like over at Dragon's Bridge? Hmm. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, so we need to find his sword somewhere. It's just another thing we need to do. Wait a second, it says bring it to him. Do we have that sword right now? No, we don't. So the game requires us to find the sword before we can give it to him, which means I don't need to worry about that. Come to think of it, maybe we have the sword in the museum already. That would be hilarious. I would uh, find that quite amusing, actually. Hmm. <laughs> now, where are we going? I'm, I'm contemplating where else we need to travel. Oh, yeah, we need to go down and kill the leader of Knife Point Ridge. It's going to take a moment. Yes. Do Half-breed children. Oh, the way... Yeah, I was going to say, the way it works is the race of the mother always defines the, um, at least in the Elder Scrolls, defines the race of the child. So they just shrug and treat them like whatever race they are. That's just the truth of it. But yeah, imagine having like a, a Bosmer orphan or something like that. That would be mildly interesting, to say the least. Yeah, I'm glad I spent the night in Old Heraldon. That was definitely worth it. To pick up that objective. Got some mud crabs. No reason not to get some chitin and other uh, valuable materials. Crab meat and all that. We'll eventually make some uh, better stuff, I imagine. Well, hello. I could have sworn there was another uh, mud crab corpse. We're not going to worry about that too much. We can destroy that troll with the power of lightning. We're going to go cheap. We're going to hit him with uh, unlimited power. Ready to go? How did uh, Bretons come into existence? Uh, just generations and generations of breeding. You know, hundreds and hundreds of years. Yeah. The idea is that the father can uh, give secondary traits to the child. And so... The idea. Oh no. Where'd the troll go? There we go. We did it. We destroyed him with power. We take troll's blood and troll um, alchemy ingredients. We don't need the rest of the troll, though. It's garbage. Yes. Do, do. Yep, 
As for the goat, we can just harvest the goat completely. Good. Quick save. Oh, can Daedra... Can divines breed with... Mor divines don't breed with mortals. Divines incarnate themselves. Um... And as far as we can tell, their incarnations are completely mortal. They just have certain powers. And they don't actually, um, you know, that they will accomplish miracles, but that doesn't mean that their children will have those miracles as well. It just means that they will, they will, like their, their incarnations will only appear briefly and then vanish when their purpose is ended. Um, ah, crap. Crap, crap, crap. This is actually very bad. Screw it. Energy ball. We got him. Woo! So, um... Yeah. But, um... I like how it was considered a skeever. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is a wild shrine. We've already, uh... We've already prayed to this particular wilderness shrine, so it doesn't matter. Um... Let me see here. Bum, bum, bum. It's, yeah, but as far as the divines go, like they don't. There's no real, uh, no real child incarnation. Like, there's no way for the divines to really breed. No. Um, however, it is canon that uh, Umarel the Unfeathered was a half Daedra. And uh, more or less a demi prince. He was the po sorcerer king of the Aeliad and a half elf. Ugh, my goodness. Ah, we got a Daedra heart, Heart of Shadows Queen, and Draconis card. That's great. Ooh, are these guys? Wait, hello? That's a Justicier. Huh, weird. There's only only a Justicier survived this? What happened to everybody else? Were they killed by the Daedra? Oh crap. This is this young lady cut down in her prime. Damn shame. Well, I'll gladly grab the gilded Thalmor shields. Thank you, game. Very, very good. Hmm. Did that guy just run away completely? Or is he back on the path? Interesting. Okay, th there's the other Thalmor. Okay, so only one of the Thalmor actually died. The other one was up there sniping at the Daedroth from a distance. That's kind of interesting, I suppose. Damn shame about this lady, though. Thalmor Justiciers have it pretty rough. Uh, wandering around Skyrim looking for heretics. You know, those uh, those gosh darn Talos worshippers. Hmm. Oh, well. Let's get going. So, um... As I was saying, the uh, it, it's funny because that ghost thought I was Tiber Septim for some strange reason. I mean, we, the player, know why that reason is, but the character has no idea why uh, this ghost would think we're Tiber Septim. Kind of ridiculous. Um, hmm. Who is that? There's someone up that road. Uh huh. That is a Minotaur. That is a small Minotaur, but a Minotaur nonetheless. Skeletons, fight it. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Damn. Dramora Axe. Uh, well, I'll take all of it, thanks. I like how it's just a headdress on a normal NPC. That's kind of funny. Yep. Mm -hmm. What we got here? A Naga. The Naga is dead. Let's continue. We have to get into Falkreath. How close are we to the, the turn off? Oh, pretty close. I just need to get down south to the leader of Knife Point Ridge. Knife Point Ridge. That's our goal. 
As soon as we get a turn off, we'll go into the hills here. Hmm. Be up by that fort. At that, that little overlook there. It should just be a right turn up into the hills, I believe. Everything should be about right. Yep, there's the turn off. Little road up here. Wait a second, I think there are goblins fighting. Yeah, there's a horde of goblins, and they're fighting a group of somebodies. Hmm. Looks like the goblin shamans are spraying frost on a troll. That is hilarious. That is incredibly dumb. I'm going to grab that warlord. Clunk him. Oh, I can't clunk him. I will wait. Getting back up. He will never get up again. Okay, so we've actually managed to kill one of the warlords while the trolls tanked for me. I'm waiting for my magic to regenerate, and then I'm going to take the next target. That uh, shaman over there. One shaman down. Second warlord down. And the trolls were left alive. That is so incredibly dumb. Okay, one troll down. The other troll is still alive. He's convulsing. And we got him. We've cleared the battlefield of both forces. Victory is mine. My followers are still on the road coming back over. That's funny. All right. We got the trolls. We're going to draw their blood, harvest their ingredients, and we need nothing else from the trolls. Now, as for the corpses, on the other hand, this one is stuck in the ground, I notice. We're going to try something to get kind of to that corpse. There's no reason. Yep, Goblin Warlord. There we go. We don't need the Goblin... Uh, sword. We've got plenty of goblin swords, but uh, we'll turn off TCL and continue. Same thing with the troll. Get the blood, harvest the ingredients. We'll, we'll check it for loot using search, but we're pretty sure we'll just find the same uh, garbage again. At which point, we, yeah, we don't need anything off those trolls. Uh, we'll dispose of their corpses to make uh, things not only spawn faster, but, you know, clears up uh, space in the save file in theory my save files are only like 40 megabytes believe it or not i know that sounds a bit ridiculous i remember the the save bloat in my last like aldmiri noble playthrough it was like the save files were a gigabyte a piece i remember that um oh goblin shaman f staff of frostbite that's fine we'll take everything no big deal we're going up into the hills now but um yeah, my uh, saves are only like 48 um, megabytes a piece right now. Kind of funny. I went ahead and I cleaned up the saves. Like, if you look here, you'll see that it's save uh, 649. But if you look down the list, it stops right here because I cleaned up all the extra saves. So, would you say that OpenMW is required to play Morrowind in 2020? Not, not in general, no. Uh, in fact, a lot of people recommend the Myrowin script extender for all these kind of advanced right, mods. My skeletons popped, finally. Um, however, I personally prefer the stability of OpenMW greatly. I, I like the idea of it crashing almost never. And uh, I'm just too attached to that stability that I don't think I would... Uh, sacrifice it for any added functionality. Although there are people who would disagree vehemently. I think it's perfectly valid to play Morrowind. Oh, Gold Bullion. That's 5,000 Septums right there. Um, I think there are people who uh, absolutely would approach um... Uh, Morrowind with the um, I like how he, he just plunked that deer. I'll, I'll grab it anyway. It's an elk, not a deer. Whatever. Uh, let's go. Oof, we are in a bad situation here. We are completely over encumbered from all the crap we were picking up. But yeah. Uh, 
move. Like there is a, a metric ton of functionality that the Morrowind script extender has. There are other people who are caught on graphics and I really don't care. As far as the Morrowind graphics extender goes, I can play without that. In fact, I probably will every time. That said, um, I, again, I'm far too attached to the extra stability of the open Morrowind engine to the point where like, I don't have to worry about save bloat. I don't have to worry about crashes. I don't have to worry about so many other issues because it's a completely different engine. People will argue the engine has its own problems, and I would you know, say, obviously, every piece of software has its own problems. But uh, there's a talented team of developers working on it. They just really do need to get script extender functionality into it sooner rather than later. And once that happens, people will abandon the old Morrowind engine for good. Once there is uh, full, full script extender support. Until then, I don't need the mods that use script extender. But that's my personal opinion, not the opinion of a great many people. All right. Let's see here. We are going down the leader of Knife Point Ridge. Let's go kill Knife Point Ridge. I don't remember that place. Was it the... Uh, don't, oh, is, is that a... Oh, well, crap. Got a bear. Got a bear. Oh, crap. That hurt. Come on. Um, wow. That's it. You need to do better than that. It's nothing. Kain is pleased with my actions. Because I killed a spirit bear, apparently. That's funny. Excuse me. I need the bear meat. I do need the claws, though. And I don't know what happened to the animal. No big deal. Let's uh, switch back to something that can actually tank a hit worth a damn. I didn't have my armor on when I took that hit. Yeah, I, I was wearing this uh, this invisibility cloak for stealing that <laughs> hunter's supplies. But um, this, this outfit's more in line with fighting. Okay... Let's continue. How close are we to Knife Point Ridge? Way down there. Which means if I were to go up into those hills, I'd be fighting more bandits I don't need to fight. Well then, continuing across the land, are those mushrooms for me? I think those are mushrooms for me. Yes, they are. Quick saving. Yep, not that place. That is a bandit fort. You can tell that little tower up there. And there's a spot to drop rocks. If this were, um, if this were pretty much any other game, like Fallout 4, for instance, she'd be sniping me right now. But instead, she's just sitting there, manning the post because I'm not close enough to aggro her. Kind of funny, though. All right. Through the woods we go. Oh, this is the Cloak of the Burned, I believe. There's usually two necromancers over here. I don't need that rabbit. Yep, that's the Cloak of the Burned. We've already been here before. We'll take their bone meal and uh, continue on. There might be something in this chest for me. Some septums. Uh, those necromancers just aggroed. They're shooting nice spikes at me. Okay, well, I should be able to tank their attacks if I put on this uh, fire potion and then a nice uh, extreme elixir of fortitude. And that should handle it. Their ice shouldn't be able to do too much. I can grab one of them right now. The other one... We'll have to wait. Oh, she, she resisted Thunderbolt. Okay. There we go. We plunked her. We plunked her good. And my followers took care of the second one. So. Uh, the zombie that came up was a wolf. Terrible. Uh, as for this Necomancer here, we uh, just take her robes and body parts. She can leave her boots. That We don't need those. Uh, the, the other one over here. What do we got? 
Looks like that necromage. Jeez. She had a black soul gem with a soul in it. Hmm. Not quite what I want. This is the broker's shack. You go in there, it you get stuff for undeath. We're not gonna do anything for undeath right now, but that's that's kind of nice that uh, such a thing is there. We need to kind of go around. Oh, another wolf! Hilarious. I can tell they, that the necromancers killed it, based entirely on the fact there's an ice spike sticking out of it. No big deal though. Uh, let me see here. Um. Doo -doo. Mm hmm. I don't know about, I know nothing about Starfield. My expectations with Starfield is that it's going to be No Man's Sky, but worse. However, I will laugh really, really hard if it turns out to be a Mass Effect ripoff. Um, I do know that unless they get a new studio, which they might, by the way, that their next release after a No Man, uh, No Man's Sky, after Starfield will be, you know, three to four years off. So get excited for uh, Elder Scrolls 6 coming in three to four years after Starfield, assuming they don't, you know, get another studio to work on it. Um, which is distinctly possible now that Microsoft owns it and can tell them what to do. Um, but yeah, it's... Um, I would say that Microsoft has a tendency, like companies that get bought out by Microsoft have a tendency to make one to two really good games and then go downhill. That's usually what happens to companies that get um, that get uh, picked up by, um, by Microsoft. So, um, you know, we probably have one to two really good games in Bethesda before they get utterly destroyed based on um, past experience with uh, Microsoft purchases. That might not happen. There's, there's a distinct possibility that they may indeed endure into the future and make good games. Oh, another mine, another ore there. Uh, but yes, um... It's uh, distinctly possible. However, looking at it realistically speaking, Bethesda's uh, days are numbered. If I had to put odds on it, I'd say 80% chance that Bethesda will be destroyed within two games. So, um... Do, do, do. Okay, said, so what do I mean, No Man's Sky, but worse? No Man's Sky is a procedurally generated universe where everything is very, um, very, let's just say, uh, surface level. Very, very surface level. Um, not, not very deep at all. Um, it, it's very fun, but it's also not really that remarkable once you get over the initial wow factor of it. And if we take the world of No Man's Sky and we were to shrink it down to just a handful of small star systems uh, or a handful of small uh, planets, that would be No Man's Sky, but worse. And that's what I'm saying. That's my expectation for Starfield is, you know, we know nothing about it, but my expectation is it'll be a handful of handcrafted um landscapes with procedural generation filling in all the gaps and it won't be very good that's my expectation if if it turns out to be a tremendously great game then um great you know i'll play it and i'll enjoy it um let, let me uh let me clue you in on the best way to handle bethesda's future releases all right so um let me see here Let me uh, let me pull this up. It's uh, there's a specific one. Okay, it's called the Gamer Matrix here. This is the the best way to explain uh, the best. Like this is the ideal way to deal with Bethesda's future releases and understand it. So, 
Uh, this is okay. So if the game is good and you don't get excited, you can be pleasantly surprised when it comes out and is good. But let's say the game comes out and it's stu and you didn't get excited. Well, you can have a smug self-satisfaction of, mm, I mean, I didn't buy into the hype. So uh, now if the game is good and you got excited, all is well. But if you got excited and the game is terrible, well, I don't need to I don't need to explain that part for you. But um, with Bethesda's declining quality over time, I think that this is very important to understand. Okay. Yes, exactly. Now. Let's go. I'm not that invested in this Starfield idea. I never have been. If it, I will enjoy it if it's good. Otherwise, I will make fun of it relentlessly if it's not. Okay, we got bandits. Oh boy, we got bandits. They are shooting arrows my way. This is this is not the good. Uh, we need to take just a moment really quick. Give me a second here. I paused it uh, so I can use dragon hide. Yes. That's good. Okay. Now we'll quick save it, and hopefully we don't die a horrible death. I say as I... Oh, jeez. I'm getting sniped. Okay. My skeletons are helping me out. We're overrunning them pretty well. Unfortunately, that sniper nearly killed me a couple times. So I'm actually very concerned. Look at that. One arrow still killed me. After all that preparation. Yep. Very good. Very good. Now. Um... Oh uh, yeah, there's. Like, this is basically it. We just have to deal with it. Yeah, that, that's that sniper got me again. That sniper got me a second time. Look at that. And you thought I was just. That's the one right there on that tower. <laughs> I love a challenge. Damn it! Damn it! Okay, I think. Oh, she's not even dead. That's the the crazy part. I'm there, th there she is. She's going to enjoy this, she says. Enjoy this. Yes, you are. I'm sure... Look, I need to be able to see you. No to and she immediately hit me with a snipe that uh, drained most of my health. Okay. Here we go. Damn! Look at that! <laughs> See, that's, that's why we usually overrun them with an army. All right. I know exactly what to do now. I'm sending my skeletons up that ramp. There's no question about it. That's the first thing I'm doing. I'm disregarding everything else. I'm going to make a sprint over. I'm going to just, yeah, disregard everything there. Oh, oh damn. They they immediately snipe me from the side. Look at that. Yes, so. We summoned a skeleton up there. Second skeleton up there. And I got plunked again from the side, so... They've got, they've canvassed this place. Oh, my goodness. Uh, there, that one. That's the one who's kicking my ass. Good. That plunderer was hitting me from the side. Plunker good. He falls down the hill. She's dead. She's dead. We win. Okay. We have to be extra careful because uh, that lady up there is gonna, gonna cause this to be extra painful. We're gonna try to do this here. Okay, we've got our skeletons up there fighting her currently. Yes, Elena just clunked that guy really hard. Killed him. Very good. All right, that bandit ranger we have to be extra careful with. Because she's about to fall. We got her. Okay. Almost done. We cleared the outside of the fortress. 
The quest is to kill the one inside the mine, I believe. No big deal, though. We dealt with them just well enough. So... Duh, duh, duh. Very good, very good. Uh-huh. Uh, my goodness. So, uh, let's grab this. Mm -hmm. Um... Microsoft has a tendency to kill the companies that it acquires. Kind of like EA, but not to a not to such a ludicrous degree. That's like people keep thinking of the Microsoft purchase optimistically without learning the lessons of what's happened to most of the companies that are now shells of their former selves. But companies that purchase other companies don't tend to gut them right away. That would be, you know, killing the goose that lays the golden eggs. They, they they will strangle the goose after it's put out one or two really good eggs. And then uh, that that's when things start to decline as, you know, people start getting replaced. Um, you said rare, correct. Rare, rare I was going to say. We, we've, we've seen enough uh, history to know that what happens to companies that get acquired. Ooh, is that Mandrake Group? Yes. Beam Mixer says hello. Well, Beam slash Mixer also had some issues, yes, uh, from the get-go. Yeah. Uh, geez. Da -da. Let's see here. Mm-hmm. A Smith bar. Wow. Nordic War Pick. We're going to grab all the uh, the metal items she had. That's nice. This Blade and Master had some good stuff there. I think that's about it. I think that's we all the things we needed, yes. Do so. Um. Hmm. Well, Rare already had its problems before that as well. People forget that all these companies get um get bought out for a reason, and um, they were looking like how do I put this? Um, Zenimax was looking to to do a sellout. Uh, sooner rather than later. Ah, huh? oh, crap. We got another bandit. Like an old woman yeah. Burst. That bandit ranger up there. We just put four skeletons up there for her to fight, so she can't really snipe us as easily. I say as easily, but it's still possible. So while she's busy fighting those minions, I'm going to get dragon hide ready, and I'm going to just try to be able to tank a single hit. That's Dragon Hide's good. Yes. Now, let's see if we can clunk her a bit. Oh yeah. We got her. We got her. Kill her. She's not dead yet. Now she is. Good. Woo! Ebony Bow. If she sniped me with that, I'd be dead in one shot. But it's okay. We got it. These, you have to understand, Microsoft isn't malicious. Um, it's just a consequence of a shifting corporate culture that tends to destroy these companies. It's not like uh, Microsoft is going, hey, 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 we're gonna we're gonna kill Bethesda after they put stuff out. So, um. Yeah. Damn you, bandit. Can't you see I'm poor? Okay. That is a bandit mage, looks like. Oof. Was a bandit mage? Jeez. Oh, yeah, it was... Wait. What's with your head? Okay, you got feathers in it. I see. I was confused there for a second. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, my expectation might easily be subverted by some good planning or people in the right place at the right time. I'm not saying, I'm not predicting that um, Starfield will be bad, you know, uh, will be a uh, bad no man's sky. I'm certainly not. I'm just saying that um, 
Uh, like, it's my personal expectation. If things exceed my expectation, I'm not going to feel bad because, oh no, I was wrong about that. No, I will feel happy to be wrong. Uh, it's, it's not like I place any pride on that statement. It, it's something I say begrudgingly. A reality that I would gladly exchange for a more uh, suitable one, let's just say. Mm hmm. Okay. Let me save the game. And we're going in. We're going in. Oof. We gotta purge that one right away. That's our first step, is purging her. Here we go! That's a bandit chief. Oh, God. That was it. The bandit chief was right there. Oh, okay. Zero deal at glass bow. That's nice. Uh, let me see. Ebony Sword of Inferno Blasts. An Ebony Dagger. Nordic Ebony Shield. The Ritual Armor of Boethia. Chase. That's, that's crazy, getting the Ritual Armor of Boethia right there. Uh, okay, so the Bandit Leader was just sitting on her uh, Cash Glass Spear there. What's in the Cash? Uh, Amulet of Akatosh, Card of Demon's Queen, Gold Septum, Heroic Imperial Armor. Nothing special. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Unlock this door. Okay. Well, this door, we want to unlock that. We'll just use the power of open. Open locks. Dual cast lock. Damn right. But th this Imperial they had mining died there, unfortunately. But hey, we can grab the iron for ourselves. We're here to try to get fossils out of this iron ore. Yep. Did they say if Starfield can be modded? They said nothing. Uh, they showed the. How did on. standard become cheap anyway? I hope it wasn't for grain, because I don't think standing in a pool of oil is a smart idea. <laughs> it's true. She was standing in a pool of oil. Wow. Wow. Okay. Now then, um, yep. You said if they, they don't want them to mess up, Starfield should be more like Mass Effect. Um, I, I think personally that they shouldn't copy other games. That would be a good start. Stop trying to copy other successful things and put out something of your own. I mean, Oblivion was Gondor. Whiterun was, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Rohan. I, I don't have much respect for either one. Uh, well, I, uh, no, not Oblivion, sorry, the Imperial City. Um, it, Minas Tirith, yes. But, um, hey, you know, the games can be fun. I'm not saying they won't be, uh, you know, point and laugh at worthy, but, um, you know, they, they, they can be both. I'm just saying, I, I do hope they get a bit more creative with their next endeavors. After all, they're trying to split away from just being the Elder Scrolls and Fallout studio. You know, as soon as they made uh, Fallout 3, which was Oblivion with guns, they kind of got themselves in this rut where they constantly are pushed to, okay, now you got to put out Fallout, now you got to put out Elder Scrolls, now you got to put out Fallout. And uh, they have these intellectual properties that will decay over time, like they will depreciate if they aren't being used. That's why they, um, they have these live services that kind of take that role on. It's why Fallout 76 exists. It's to be Fallout's live service so that they can work on other stuff. It's why Elder Scrolls Online exists to be the Elder Scrolls live service that exists while they, you know, are busy not doing Elder Scrolls. 
So that, that, that was the only way they'd ever be allowed to do, you know, a new intellectual property is to um, put the intellectual properties on, into a live service where they can continue to be profited on. Because otherwise you're just letting the, the intellectual property decay with, while getting no return on it. And that, you know, that wasn't something they they want to happen. You'll notice that the, the, the quote unquote creation club, or let's let's call it what it really is, the microtransaction store in Skyrim and Fallout 4, merely exists because people play still play those games. You know, and um, they know that they can profit off people um, that way. It's a, a very cynical look at uh, the, the business practices behind certain things. Um, really gives you the best point of view. It's um, unfortunate, but true. Jeez, uh, what's this? Poison of Frenzy. I don't even need that. Let's get out of here. Ooh. You think Elder Scrolls 6 will be the last Elder Scrolls you get for a very long time? I don't know about that. It really depends. Uh, as long as they don't say, well, Elder Scrolls 6 is now going to be a live service where we're going to be putting seasons forward and shit like that. I really hope, um, I hope they don't do that, but, um... I could see it happening, yes. I, I can see your point of view on that. Um, I don't want to be entirely cynical about the entire th affair. I'm just saying that, uh, you know, you look at it and how can you have a successful microtransaction store going forward simultaneously while modding is happening? The answer was, for the, the quote-unquote creation club, it was restricting modding heavily by you say it's been nine years since skyrim but they don't give a shit about that uh skyrim isn't considered uh what here let me let me pull up um let me see uh dark heart of skyrim let me pull this up okay so dark heart of skyrim uh was out in 2020 yes this is uh th this right here is uh yeah th this is this is the last Elder Scrolls product as far as they're concerned. Skyrim's irrelevant, right? If they can sell you more Skyrim on the Switch, they're going to do it. If they're going to sell you Skyrim again on, you know, future consoles for 70 bucks a piece, they'll do it. But when when we say it's it's been it's been 9 years since Skyrim, uh, what they that like Skyrim's old news. This is their current Elder Scrolls game. It's the Dark Heart of Skyrim, right? You know, um Greymore like Elder Scrolls Online Greymore is what they're selling. And um, they'll have a new one out next year to sell you. Uh, maybe it's, you know, late next year. It doesn't matter. That's um, that's how things will go. Yep. That's the Elder Scrolls right now. And when, you know, they, they've announced Elder Scrolls 6, but... Um, it's going to be a while, that's for sure. So by the time Elder Scrolls Online is is winding down, you know, in three to four years from now, that's when they'll uh, be ready to put out uh, the next... Um, one second, I heard something weird. Hold on, I hear something. A ringing noise. Weird. It's in this area specifically. Oh, well, no big deal. We're leaving. Gotta get to Falkreath as soon as possible. Important, important tidings from Falkreath. Hold on a second. Is that the, the, yes, it's the proper time. We can do this. Just gotta fight the necromancer guarding the altar. Let's do it. Let me see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, for that answer, you should check out my latest post on the YouTubes. Yes, I made a post. Um, today, actually. Yes, the, the latest uh, channel update. If you're asking about YouTube, the latest update on that is actually on the YouTube channel itself. All right, what do we got? We got a Necromancer. Here we go. A level 12 Adept. Pretty sure she can't kill me. Pretty sure she has no capability to destroy me, so that's fine. We defeated her. We'll take her Lesser Soul Gym and her robe. 
very good. The Avenging Wraith Tome is good just for, for the tome. All right, here we go. This is the uh, fun part. So, uh, assuming... Wait. Uh, we need Elena here. Elena, where are you? Elena's way back there. It's great. All right, what do we got? Do, 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 a 10 year anniversary edition of Skyrim. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Good, there's Elena. Hey, Elena. Uh, she's here. Uh, we need our soul gems. Uh, soul gem. So we need specifically these grand soul gems, as well as greater soul gems. And we do this. Place it. Boom. Black Soul Gem. Place it. This is going to take a bit. But while the light is shining down, our Lord Manny Marco, the God of Worms, will grant us. He will grant us Black Soul Gems. We can convert our uh, normal Soul Gems into Black Soul Gems on the, on the, uh, the, when the Shade of the Revenant shines down as long as it's shining it'll shine for the rest of the day but we're gonna take advantage of this and we're just gonna, gonna process each of them we could go to the uh college of winterhold under the midden and uh process them all all there at once but i'd rather not abandon this altar and risk having it not uh work anymore so we're just gonna spend our time processing all these gems uh oops. yeah so same, same deal here might as well just grab these uh, poisons while we're here. Apothecary, yes. Th this is what this altar is here for. Boom. So we're just making all our soul gems. Soul gems for days. So when we uh, continue to get Manny Marco's favor, we'll just attack entire bandit forts. That's going to be the fun part. Okay, I'm actually going to try something. I'm going to try putting down two of these gems at once. I'm going to see what happens. So I'm going to put down a second one and see what happens there. Good, good, good. So, yeah, two of them fit. Uh, have I played um, uh, Skyrim together? No. Uh, I've seen other people playing it. It's buggy, glitchy, crashy. Um, Desyncs uh, on so many levels. There, there are so many issues with it. I would... Completely disagree if anyone told you that it was nearly as good as Test 3 MP, the Marwin multiplayer. And the main reason for that is because the Marwin multiplayer, it's an open source engine, right? Um, so you're able to take the source code and bake multiplayer directly into the game. You can't do that with Skyrim. It, you have to kind of make a roundabout thing where you're puppeting NPCs on the other person's game. And it, it has a tendency to break spectacularly. And again, Skyrim in general has a chance, uh, you know, a tendency to break spectacularly. Why do you think I, um, someone was asking me earlier about uh, OpenMW and how, you know, do I think it's mandatory for Marwin these days? And I'd say for me, yes. For other people, not so much. Um... But as far as it, trying to inject multiplayer into Skyrim, it's not ready for general play. Other people have uh, have flat out done videos where they say, like, um, you know, why I'm quitting Skyrim together and stuff like that. And it's mostly due to crash after crash and bug after bug. I mean, to run a serious campaign in Skyrim together. Good luck. That's all I'm saying. Just good luck. On the other hand, uh, other than an occasional glitch or error here and there, uh, usually requiring a relog, um, you're not going to have uh, that much trouble with the current incarnation of the of uh, Test 3 MP. Not to say that bugs and glitches don't exist, it's just that uh, one is infinitely more stable than the other. That's for sure. Now, we're almost done here. I think we're almost done. Let's have a look at our soul gems. We may want to just make those skeletons disappear, though. Um, let me see. Soul gem. I'm curious. Okay, so we're at 37. We have 104 grand soul gems left. I know why that's the case, but goddamn. 
All right, Mr. Skeleton, here's the thing. I, I can't stand you anymore. Yeah. So, skeleton, skelet. Same deal with these. Skelet. Skelet. Sorry, you, the, these, these bones were grinding me. Uh, grinding bones. Couldn't stand it anymore. So, I can I can wait here and process all the soul gems. That. Oh, and I would pass time on the road by playing with the shins. Yes. Then I'd reply better than the last. Yep. The other cliche thing, so dare I say Good. So this this might take a moment or two, but hey. When we're uh we get favor with Manny Marco for every one of these we fill. Because we're sacrificing souls in his name. So, like, this is great for what we want to do. I'm so glad we found this altar when we did. It's why I made sure to keep all of the Grand Soul Gems on Elena. I had her uh, pack them all away just for such an eventuality. It was very important. So, uh, yeah, we're just converting these to Black Soul Gems. Good, good, good. Did he get 200% favor? I think it just caps out at 200%. I believe that's the case. Hmm. I'm wondering what uh, we could use. I mean, I suppose Manny Marco's technically a Daedra because he joined the ranks of the gods in Oblivion. Hmm. We might want to try the... Um, uh, what do you call it? The Tempest Dominus with him and see if it works. If I have it. I don't know if I have it or not. Uh, let's see. I probably do. No big deal, though. At the very least, we'll have tons and tons of Grand Souls to mess with. Since the bandit supply in Skyrim is nearly endless. And we can uh, trap a hundred of these, yes. Good. You said Winter Sun's one of the best mods? Well, pretty much all of any science suite, you know, they're individual, but then they can synergize with each other in nice ways. Like, any science mods are just very welcome. Then again, you look at, you know, what he did for Diablo, and you can see he's been at modding for a long, long time. So, uh, like he, he has some, uh, oh, we're down to 68 Grand Soul Gems so far. This is kind of hilarious. And just how we're, uh, we're basically doing the work of a standard necromancer, the way the necromancer just sits here and prays at the altar all day. I'm doing basically the same thing, except I'm getting some serious results with my Soul Gems I've been accumulating. This entire game. Just turning them all black thanks to uh, our friend. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, you're confusing Manny Marco the person with Manny Marco the god. The warp in the west split him in two. Yes. Do we need to do we need to do the history lesson again? I think we need to do the history lesson again. Alright, everybody. Uh <clears throat> Uh, let me see here. King of Worms ending. Yes. This is the, uh, the King of Worms ending. Uh, there we go. Uh, that, that'll do it. Him. King of Worms ending. Yes. Manny Marco became a god. And that's why, that's where this light is coming from. This light is coming from the god of worms. The thing that turns soul gems black. 
That's all Manny Marco. But you may be thinking, wasn't Manny Marco an Oblivion? Uh, you're thinking of the mortal Manny Marco. That that was uh, from the endings where he didn't become a god. What do you mean? Can, can both endings happen? Yes, yes, both in endings happen. All the endings happen, all at once. Yes. Um, I was going to say, there's the orc ending. I mean, God, goodness knows, Elder Scrolls Online tricks you into thinking orcs were considered people. In the mainline Elder Scrolls game, uh, orcs were not considered people in Elder Scrolls 1 and 2. They gained equality uh, as a consequence of the Orsinium ending. Yes, they were discriminated against, treated as monsters to be killed. Um, and, uh, yes, in other Elder Scrolls games. True. Let me see here. Do, 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 do. Let me pull this up. Uh, do, do, do think it was... Ah, yes, here it is. I got it. So, yes. As I was saying... Under the command of Gorthwalk, Dominium destroys the other powers of Neoliath Bay, Daggerfall, Sentinel, and Wayrest. The new Orcish homeland is carved out in Elsinium, and the Empire will never be able to dispute Gorthwalk's claim to Orcish equality. Orcish equality! So, uh, because of the incredibly stupid idea of making all the endings canon, they have they created a new timeline where all the important stuff happened uh and they referred to it as the miracle of peace or the warp in the west and all of dagger falls endings happened yes what my say here do, 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 do. Mm, sorry i need to hit one more thing before we can go back to grinding out all the soul gems Hmm. Let me see. Hmm. Okay. Um. Sorry. Distractions aplenty. I think we can get back to this now. Good. Quick save before we continue any further, because I don't want to lose my progress. Very good. Let's go. Yes. But the point is that an orc can walk into the Imperial City and not get killed on sight. Whereas before that, an orc would be like, it's like, that's a monster, kill it! Was the, um, out, if they were outside of Orsinium, of course. Orsinium was the, um, the only place in the Iliac Bay they were, uh, normally found. Otherwise, they were killed by the local knights as terrible people. Creatures, even. But Morrowind just kind of treats them like people and doesn't explain why. And acts like they've always been treated like people. Um, you can't play as an orc in uh, uh, Mar uh, Arena or Daggerfall. Yes. Forty-two more Grand Soul Gems to go. We're processing them into Black Soul Gems. Yes. Doesn't that cheapen your choices? Of course it does. But well, that's what the developers decided to do. They were so scared of uh, invalidating other people's endings and making a stance on which ending was canon that they... Uh, they Honestly, were little sissy babies and um, and tried to make an ending to appease everybody. Yeah. You can tell I don't respect that decision. But you have to accept it as canon. Otherwise, you know. I, I mean, can Elder Scrolls canon is stupid. That's an important thing to understand. However, if you don't... Uh, like, we don't have a common point of discussion 
to talk about how it's stupid unless you, you know, acknowledge that it exists. The developers have the legal right to make their franchise dumb and uninteresting, but at least in certain storyline points. But, um, you know, that's their choice. Yes. I mentioned this before, but uh, there's a game I really like called Azure Striker Gunvolt. If you like Mega Man ZX, it's uh, sorry, not Mega Man. Z sorry, Mega Man Zero. It's by the same creators, right? Uh, except it's its own u universe called Azure Striker Gunvolt. Anyway, um, in, in the ending of Gunvolt 2, uh, you can. There's a good ending and a bad ending, right? In the bad ending, the main character is killed, and his rival, um, who's also a good guy, but you know, tends to fight him in boss battles. He's kind of the proto man of the series. Anyway, he uh, he he goes off and does his own thing, and there is there are two games that take place after Gunvolt Two. There's one that's called Luminous Avenger X, which is the um, which is the sequel to the bad ending of Gunvolt Two, where you play that rival character and you're actually going to kill the guy. Who killed the um, who killed the hero of the first game, right? You're, you're basically you are the Avenger. That's the whole point of that game. Then there is the uh, Azure Striker Gunvolt Three, which follows the good ending where the main character lives. And so they literally create a spin-off game just for the bad ending. I thought that was cool, but in no way is the um, um, in no way is the uh, bad ending canon to Gunvolt 3. It's just that Luminar Luminous Avenger X is my favorite game in the franchise. <laughs> so far. Okay. Bam. We've got seven more of these gems to go. Then uh, we'll have uh, just a full inventory of Black Soul gems. We'll have to give Elena a bunch of them, but hey, we've been accumulating these soul gems for some time. It's It's been a couple weeks. Like, yeah. This altar is in vanilla. It just doesn't have any properties to it. It's not magical. But in um, in Oblivion, in Vanilla Oblivion, they had uh, the Necromancer altars. Every two weeks, could um, could create Black Soul gems. In uh, Vanilla Oblivion, right? Skyrim lost that feature because you know fuck continuity. Um, but thankfully, here we are with mods. Getting that ability back. 141 Black Soul Gems. Yes. So let me see here. Right. So I'll just keep 12 Black Soul Gems on me for uh, easy bandit uh, reclamations, let's say. Let's call it b bandit reclamation. Yes. Um, let me see here. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I need to put that stuff away. I think it was called... Um, Let me let me pull this up. So when I was talking about about Gunvolt specifically, um, as far as that goes, it was um, do, 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 do. Let's see here. This might do it. Ah, yes, that's uh, that is a a cartoon I don't care about. Got it. Uh, let me see. Almost there. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at this. Ah, okay. That should do it. Hmm. No, that is a completely different trailer from what I was expecting. I was looking at all these different trailers, and I'm like, that one's in Japanese. I don't care about that one at all. Ah, the Steam version. Okay. The Steam version is it, so... Okay. 
as I was saying, now that I found it, this is Azure Striker Gunvolts by the uh, authors of Mega Man uh, Z uh, Zero. The hero is a 14-year-old boy named Gunvolt, a.k.a. GV. He is an addict with the power of lightning who fires special tags with a lock-on mechanism that allows him to blast his foes with pinpoint accurate electricity. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, point is, I just wanted a frame of reference when I talk about Avenger X. Uh, let's see. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yes, you can see the Mega Man DNA. Exactly. Exactly. It's a, it is just straight up uh, Mega Man there. Let me uh, see if I got this one right. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So, Avenger X is kind of the sequel... Um, it, it, it's the sequel to Gunvolt 2's bad ending, meaning it's like a spin-off, uh, whereas Gunvolt 3 goes to the good ending. Copen, the mysterious young man known as the Luminous Avenger Ix. His basic attack is a photon laser gun that fires high-speed projectiles directly at his targets. Copen marks his targets by dashing into them. He can then hit all his shots with perfect accuracy from anywhere on the screen. By consuming bullets, Copen can perform a high-speed aerial bullet dash. Ola, a combat support robot created by Copen. She can replicate enemy Septimas and turn them into EX weapons that Copen can use at will. Rack yeah, yeah, that's that's good enough. Point is that um, I really love 2D side-scrolling platformers like that in the Mega Man style. I'm just a fan of the Mega Man X series and the Mega Man Zero series, not so much the classic Mega Man games. I, I like the uh, the faster speed that the X series brings to the table. And you never really see that. Uh, said the, the, oh, the narration? Oh, that's because um, that that's, um, let's just say, it, it's what you get when you go with um, uh, Deep Silver, I believe. Though, though that, that special sort of publisher. Uh, you know, the anime fan on Prom Night, people? Uh, God, I'm trying to remember the name now. Uh, let's see. Uh, same narrator. Let's go. Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Yes. Yes. That Curse of the Moon's. Uh, what, what's this? Curse of the Moon two on your desktop? Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Curse of the Moon two on my desktop. I, I love myself some cur uh, some uh, Bloodstained. Zangetsu, a sword wielding exorcist who will stop yes. at nothing to eradicate all demons. A young woman who has had crystals transplanted by alchemists. Uh, yes. She battles against demons with her fearsome whiff. Alfred, an alchemist seeking the Liber Logaith texts. It's the same studio, but they're doing a retro bloodstain. This is basically legally distinct Castlevania. G Bell, a young man who, like Miriam, has had crystals transplanted. He bears deep hatred for humans and alchemists alike. Yeah. Um. Now, hold on a second. One more thing. It was. Uh. uh Yeah, so. Uh, do, 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 do. Mm. Sea of Thieves is fun. I just don't play it alone, and I don't really care about it uh, too much. Yeah. Uh, let me let me go ahead and pull up uh, Curse of the Moon 2. Same narrator, of course. Demon Kind Stronghold is once again under siege by a new group of demon slayers. Zangitsu. 
A sword-wielding exorcist who will stop at nothing to eradicate all demons. Dominique, an exorcist sent by the church who heals her allies and uses her spear to fell demons. Robert, a sharpshooting soldier capable of sniping his demonic foes with an arsenal of firearms. Hachi, a corgi who pulverizes demons by controlling a colossal suit of magic armor. Corgi. Zangetsu also joins forces with figures from the past. Miriam, a young woman who had shards transplanted by alchemists. Alfred, an alchemist on a continuous journey for the Logaith texts. Jebel, a young man with a deep hatred for humans and alchemists alike. Fates intertwine as the clash against demon kind begins anew. Will you face the demonic threat alone or with comrades by your side? Co-op. Life and death hang in the balance as the horrible night rages on once again. Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon 2. Yes. Uh, I was gonna say that, um, uh, what's it called? Um, let me, uh, let me pull this up because, all right, so if you want to play that game and you don't want to be spoiled, uh, tune out for a minute because I'm going to really quick uh, show off the ending of the second game really quick just uh like a, a few seconds of it just so you can see how incredibly dumb it is like this is this is the most anime thing you will ever see in retro and uh i'm going to uh, show the ending right now because i can here we go Yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> That's not where you expected the game to go at all. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. Uh, it's amazing, though. And the journey all the way up to that point is great. And that's that's the that's an alternate special ending. That's uh, there is actually a, 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 another ending where they have a text crawl and everything, but. Um, <laughs> That that just shows you how anime it can get, you know? Just a just a little bit anime. Yes. Alright. Uh give me a second here. I mean that was uh <laughs> Um I am unfortunately out of drink once again, so I'm gonna go uh refill and uh then we're gonna be playing more Skyrim, yes indeed. So we just finished processing all of our soul gems, our greater soul gems and grand soul gems into, well, black soul gems. That's good. We'll be able to process all the bandits we run into. Well, that's important. So glad about that. Okay. Well, now we have to continue in this direction. That is a fort filled with bandits. I wonder what would happen. Um, 
I wonder what would happen if we introduced ourselves to those bandits. Hmm. <laughs> first things first, Dragonhide. Let's uh, drink a potion to enhance the duration of Dragonhide by... Uh, yes, alteration spells last 123% longer. Thank you. Alteration! Okay. So now, Dragonhide should last for 3 minutes and 29 seconds. That is plenty of time to kill a woof. Make sure there are no other woofs. Since there are no other woofs, I challenge you all to a fight. The orcs are not here. I was ready to run in and conquer. And no one's here. We're going to sneak our way into Crack Tusk Keep. And conquer. Yes. Oh, who's seeing me? Who, who knows that I'm here? You picked a bad time to... Okay, that is, that is indeed an enemy. We're going to use Soul Cloak. So for a few minutes... Excellent. Everyone fills a soul gem. So, that's good. This Orcish Hunter... Sorry, Elena. No, don't worry about it, Elena. I just need to grab all the hunting gear and the meat and the brew. The Horker's Tusk. Very good. I kind of expected another orc, I suppose. But I guess that's not the case here, so we're going to just sneak our way in. There should be one or two more enemies. Uh, how can the Dark Brotherhood uh, being destroyed or the Emperor not being relevant? Oh, very simple. So what? You destroyed this Dark Brotherhood sanctuary? That wasn't the last sanctuary. There are plenty of other ones. Every single Dark Brotherhood sanctuary believed it was the last one, right? But there's like, there's a bunch more. No problem, right? Um. Also, uh, the Emperor... You know, the Emperor died. We don't know why the Emperor died, but, you know, the, the next in line took over. That's it. Like, I mean, the Emperor could have gotten sick and died a month after Skyrim was over. See, it's very easy to invalidate all that stuff. I mean, he stubbed his toe and got, got toe rot, and that rot killed him. Or maybe uh, a Daedric curse killed him. Who knows? But all we know is the Emperor died, okay? Whether you killed the Emperor or the Emperor died for some other reason, the Emperor's dead now. That's it. Yeah. See, you can't prove it wasn't the Dark Brotherhood who killed uh, the Emperor. But the Emperor's dead now. Do I have Soul Cloak active? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Five minutes. There should be a boss in here. He says it's kind of sad that nothing has any meaning. Well, yeah, I mean, I figured that out in previous games. I, I really figured that out in previous games. You you have to play the game for the game. There, there is, they don't have this grand plan. It's like the people who said, God, these people planned for... Uh, all this great dialogue six years ago or ten years ago. They plant they set this up. Not really, no. They didn't. You're, you're you're thinking too hard. They they intelligently did a tie-in to make you think they set it up. Yes. But I mean People get a bit antsy with trying to prescribe meaning that doesn't really exist. It's your game. Give it the kind of meaning you want. Don't... Don't leave it up to other people to tell you whether or not your game was impactful. Whether you... Uh, what you did had any lasting impact. It's not like... Well, I mean, you're Nevereen. Um... Didn't um, accomplish anything, right? Because, I mean, Marund was basically destroyed by the Red Year, right? Uh, at that point, you, you shouldn't, like, nothing has any meaning, right? All the people you saved, they died during the Red Year. So, did you really accomplish anything as the Navarine? See how they shit the bet on that? 
they 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 got pissed about everyone yapping about Morrowind, so they they nuked Morrowind. That was spiteful and very annoying. Uh, that said, when you're playing Morrowind, do you do, do, like? Do you have to care about Red Year? No, Red Year never happens in your in your Morrowind playthrough, as far as you're concerned. It's not depressing that everything in everyone you're talking to is going to die. You just simply don't respect that part of the continuity and just say, never happened. No, uh-uh. Not in my game. And it's that, that simple. Oh, choke berries. Nice. Get those. I love the way choke berries grow around the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. We'll, we'll be using those for something, I imagine. Okay, let's go on in. I have a chit chat with the Dark Brosen Hood. Mm. How you doing, Miss Astrid? Ah, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? Mm. A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager. Uh, there we go. I live only to serve Hail Sithis. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. You, my dear, are going to fit in here quite nicely. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more... Mm, personal nature. Mm -hmm. It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... Well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad. But it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. Mm. All right, by sentence we must stop them. Uh, you're a bit paranoid. Maybe so, but healthy paranoia has saved this sanctuary before. And my gut's telling me that demented little fool is up to something. What do you want me to do? Dear brother, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. Hmm, it's perfect, really. They'll never think to check it. Who in their right mind would hide inside? Now go, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. Okay, morning never comes. Very good. So, do you have any idea who Cicero might conspire with? That's the real question, isn't it? The jester enters, seals the door, and the conversation begins. So someone must be waiting for him inside. Any one of us could enter that chamber silently, unnoticed. But who amongst us would dare conspire against the sanctuary? The very thought breaks my heart. I see. Uh, do you know what Sister is planning? Isn't it obvious? As the Night Mother's keeper, he believes he's entitled to rule of this sanctuary. Cicero will cite our independence as the need to revert to the old ways. He'll claim we're undisciplined, unruly, heretical even. Ironically, the Night Mother could prove to be just as much a victim, a queen in a fool's twisted game of chess. Mm, I see. Is there anything else I should know? I don't believe so. But I'll be able to instruct you further after you've returned from the chamber. It depends on what you learn. And make haste. You must be in place before Cicero and his ally arrive. They could be planning another meeting any time. Yes, I see. Go, quickly. Hide in the coffin before Cicero and the traitor meet. I see. Well, in that case, let's save the game. That's pretty important. And then we'll uh, not rush in like she wants us to. And instead, we will casually grab things as we see fit because there's really no uh no rush at all yeah, it turns out the game waits for you so uh we're just going to you know casually there. Hurry before the meeting begins 
There is no meeting. Don't worry about it. I'm almost certain there's no meeting. Is it true? The Rhetoric contract? Yes, you heard correctly. In and out of Vardenfell in less than 48 hours. I'm just trying to imagine you hiding inside the body of a mammoth. Bloody brilliant idea. When I become wolf, I am treachery incarnate. And then, then, there is no one who can stand between the hunter and his prey. I see. What do you want, Beef Roast? Need something? You're part of a family now, Hamshank. I trust you, you trust me. Got it? Don't take offense to the nicknames, Morsel. I'm a werewolf. Hard not to think of you as a snack. <laughs> Brother. Later, Hamhawk. Until next time, brother. Hello, Tidbit. Right then. Need something? Take care of yourself, Beef Roast. Brother. All right. Astrid thinks a family member might be conspiring with Cicero. She said that? If I find anyone working against my wife or the sanctuary, I'll beat them to death with their own severed head. Of course, they'd probably already be dead. But you know what I mean. I see. Kill well and often. Yes, about that. Hello. Greetings, brother. No. Nope. Kill well and often. Yeah, I'm not talking to the Yargonian. I can't trust the lizard. I can trust the, the dumb guy because he's, number one, he's dumb. And number two, he's, uh... In the Dark Brotherhood, I found acceptance, love, and my life's true purpose. I'm sure you did. How you doing, Festus? Talk to Babette about potions. She's the creepy little girl. Can't miss her. Right. Hey, Babette. Been quite a boon, looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. My targets make the mistake of not perceiving me as a threat. Last mistake they ever make. Uh, what, what do you got for sale? Some I call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. <laughs> she's so generic. And she's got a crucible, though. And at a good price. Clean bandages. Let's buy all of them. Along with her lock picks. Uh, we got already got the retort. We don't need to worry about that. Mm -hmm. Darkness. Shadow stride. Shadow dance. Let's see. Reveal secrets. This is what I want. I want to reveal secrets. Thank you. Uh, pull through shadows. Pulls the target uh, away to the caster. Reducing their armor. Wow, that thing looks amazing. But I don't, I'm not getting it. Nightfall is a pool of darkness. Um, follows the caster, and the caster gains uh, all known shadow mage buffs. Well, uh, let's see here. Your melee attacks and shadow mage spells are up to 50% stronger in darkness. That's cool. We'll grab that. And darkness is a small pool that we can use to buff those. Okay. Hmm. No 15% faster in combat. And uh, step through shadows. Dashes at a target. Reducing the armor. I don't think so. I don't need any of that right now. Thank you, though. And elves ear. Let's grab a river, Betty, because that's the... Yeah, and as well as some seeds. Uh, marshmallow. Marshmallow? Wow. That's rare. I'm glad we were able to get some of that. Hmm. Guess that's about it. We don't really need any, any of our potions. They're nice, but we don't need them. Okay. Have a good contract. Yes. Have a good contract indeed. Uh, looks like we can use the Mystic Condenser here to condense down our potions, which we'll do right now. Yeah, our healing potions don't really need anything else. It was just the healing potions? Okay. No big deal. We condense down the potions. Let's see if he's got any jobs for us. Hello, sir. You reek of death, my friend. I salute you. Got any more contracts? I'm sorry, I don't. Come see me again later. Yes. So. Mm-hmm. What's in the cupboard? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, I did not mean to pick up that skull. Doesn't matter, though. That's bone meal, I suppose. No big deal. Just uh, having a peek. A peek at all of this. I can't wait to become the um, the Pope of uh, this particular uh, 
branch of Catholicism. It's exciting, don't you know? Don't you know? Okay, that should just about do it. Ah, oh, crap. It's locked. We have to open this thing. Time to go inside. Hmm. Well, are we alone? Yes. <laughs> Solitude. No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex, <laughs> perhaps even the Argonian, and the Unchild. What about you? Have you... have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. Human obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. But how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you are the one. Yes, you. You who shares my iron tomb. Who warms my ancient bones. Journey to Wallenroo. Speak with Armand Mortier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. All these years, darkness rises when silence dies. What? What treachery? Defiler, debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Halt, 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 halt. Speak, worm! Halt. Yes, I am the one. She spoke to you? More treachery. More trickery and deceit. You lie. The Night Mother speaks only to the listener. And there is no listener. Stop reeing. The darkness rises when silence dies. She she said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words. The binding words. Written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true. 
She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> <laughs> Good. By Sithis, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true. It's true. The Night Mother has spoken. The silence has been broken. The listener has been chosen. When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Ahem. <clears throat> yes, I'm fine. Then what in Sithis name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? It's true. I am the one. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? Yes. By Sithis. And? What did she say? We have to meet with Amand Montier in Volrund. Amand Montier? I have no idea who that is. But Volenrud, that I have heard of. And I know where it is. Yes. Uh, so, where... Should I go there? Talk to this man? Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Okay. Receive side contracts, which turn out to be main contracts. Because... That's how things work? Ooh, what's this? Grand Potion of Health, I'll take that. Medallion, sure. No problem there. Mm-hmm. Anything else? I don't think so. So, what do you think, Cicero? <gasps> I have served Mother well, I have. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, um, what exactly does the listener do? Oh, the listener, well, listens. <laughs> the Night Mother speaks to you, guides you on your path. But when the Night Mother speaks, the listener must obey. You must. For her word is the will of Sithis, and, and Sithis is the Dark Brotherhood <gasps> incarnate. I see. Uh, will the Night Mother speak to me again, then? <laughs> Surely you're pulling Cicero's leg. Wait. <laughs> the listener is serious. <laughs> oh. Well, of course, the Night Mother will speak to you again. She might speak now or later or... I don't know. But speak she will. The Night Mother is part of you now. You get to hear voices inside your head. The rest of us should be so lucky. Holy shit. The rest of us should be so lucky to have voices inside our head. All right, what can you tell me about yourself exactly? Me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. Mm. I keep. I look after our matron, you see, the Night Mother. I keep her clean and protected and... happy? Oh, but I'm not the listener. Oh, no. <laughs> you are the listener. You heard the words. And everything will soon be put right. 
Okay, goodbye. Are you excited? Oh, you should be. Things are finally looking up. Right. Thank goodness. Let's go ahead and uh, have a chit chat with uh, some of the other people in the sanctuary. That should be something we can do before we uh, get a message to kill uh, someone of very important standing. Let's uh, start off by having a talk with Nazir. Still here? What's the matter? Uh, Can't handle what I'm throwing your way? No, uh, no, no. More workplace. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Not hurt, though? Happy hunting. Alright, uh, tell me about Lorebook. He is, by all accounts, the worst bard in all of Skyrim. Apparently, so many people sought his death, Astrid had to hold a lottery to determine the client. I see. And Hearn? He's a vampire and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt, also a vampire. The contract is for the male, Hearn, but you'll probably have to contend with the female, too. So for Sithis's sake, watch yourself. Sithis is... okay. Good luck, and try not to get yourself killed. Right. This plate is, uh, is Skyrim, isn't it? Let's eat the salmon. <clears throat> I was expecting something more of this plate. There we go. We picked it up. Uh, let's see. How you doing? In the Dark Brotherhood, I found acceptance, love, and my life's true purpose. Of course you did. Well, no one else has anything to say. So, I there we go. Astrid and this sanctuary. Need something? Nope. Need something? Okay, so Astrid's gonna do her own thing. We can mostly ignore this. Uh, Astrid will be sitting there. Please, not now. You'll know when I'm ready to discuss the issue. Right. Uh, let's grab the wine. Grab the extra set of uh, shrouded stuff. This is extra in case your thing will grab the skulls as well. Those are all bone meal. The rest of this is not necessary. Yes. Okay. Very good. Is that their uniform? Yes, that's their uniform. Except Astrid. Astrid has her own uniform, which, uh, as you can see, Please. is uh, just not now. You know, Dark Brotherhood know uniform. But everyone else's uniform is uh, is extra special. There, there are a pair of uh, shorts, short, short shorts. Brother. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, everyone else has the short shorts except Astrid. Please, not now. Please, not now. Yes. All right. Well, Rumarn, what do you think? You lead, I'll follow. Guess you don't have anything else to say. Um. That's fine. You lead, and I'll do whatever you say. Yep. So, Lurbook and Hearn are our current objectives. Hearn is down by the mill. Lurbook is at the Morthal Inn. I see. I see. Hmm. I'm debating if there's anything else we need to do. I guess while we're here, we should go into Falkreath and pick up a uh, new bounty. If we haven't already, we need to turn in the old bounty. Also, uh, I believe there's a dog out there that I need to uh, tell the guy about. You see a dog out there? Yes, I'm, I'm actually going to go talk to the guy about the dog now. It's been a while. It's been, been a while, but we're actually going to talk about the dog out there. I know. I know. It, truly amazing. Something no one was expecting. Um, did you see a dog out there? Yes. Yes, indeed. So, um... We're actually going to talk to the guy about the dog. It's like we're actually making progress on some of these quests. 
Look at you, prancy guards. I know you had some part in Sinding's escape. Don't deny it. Okay, whatever. Sinding. I killed Sinding, and I got Savior's Hide for it. Which was an awesome artifact in Battlespire and is now significantly nerfed. Let's just say. Don't think you can barter with me like I'm one of those damn shopkeepers. Right. Did you see a dog out there? Uh, some wolves, but no dogs. Oh, well. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. Yes. Uh, let me see here. Did you see a hound on the road? Fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town. The gate guard mentioned a dog. I asked the gate guards to look for him. I can't afford to chase him down, but could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. If you are willing to retrieve him for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. Hmm. I could be convinced to catch him. Oh. It's smart to demand something up front. Some gold now, and some when I have my dog. Here's the meat. You know what would be funny? If we could actually buy a war dog from that guy in Markarth and then bring it over here to the, him. But I know that that won't do anything. It's just kind of funny. Uh, let me see. We need some iron. Um, hmm, de debating if there's anything else we need to do. Steel's good, but loyalty's better. I'm loyal to Dengear first and the Empire second. Yes. Uh, that's fine. See me at my forge if you need arms or armor. Right. Okay, is that a dog? That's a that's a soulless goat. That goat is a spirit based. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. Shouted him apart. I'm sure that happened. I'm sure I'm sure that Ulfric Stormquack murdered the High King with his voice. Uh, just <laughs> him apart. Serious business. Alright. Hello, sir. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. Yes, the uh, leader of Knife Point Ridge is dead. I'm here for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Very good. Uh, that should do it. Um, how'd you become Jarl so young? My uncle Dengir was Jarl until a short time ago. His old age and failing health caught up with him, and he stepped down. He now serves us honorably as Thane, and to the great benefit of the hold, I now serve as Jarl. Does your inexperience make things difficult? Difficult? I'm a Jarl. I eat the most succulent meat, drink the finest ale, and hunt with the best hounds in the hold. Meanwhile, my very capable steward sees to the needs of the small folk and ensures that my hold runs smoothly. Being a Jarl could hardly be simpler. You should try it sometime. Mm, yes, you, you should try being a king sometime. Come and see me again sometime. I might have some use for you. Yes. Alright. Well, while you talk about having some use, I'm gonna grab uh, some things that might be around hiding in the various containers. Like these containers. Very good. Yes, honked him apart. Fusro ronk. True. Uh, shoulder cape. What else? Shoulder cape. <sighs> Nothing else there. Trying to grab those coins. Why not? How are you today? Sidgear can sometimes act too quickly, but he does listen to Helvert and I. You got any work? The Jarl has put out a bounty on the dragon that's been terrorizing the countryside. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Right. Uh, well, that's pretty good. How much is the house? 
There's no house available, but I could sell you a fine piece of land where you could build your own house. Hmm. 10,000 septums? I don't think so. May wisdom forever light your path. Indeed. Indeed. That's the steward. Very dainty. Uh, let me see. Okay. Just grabbing the potions. What else do we need? Anything else while we're here? Hmm. There's a s couple soul gems up there we could grab. I mean, the mead's in the way, so... Mm-hmm. We don't really need any more wine. We've gathered a lot of wine thus far, and we don't really need it. We're penny-pinching, grabbing these coins, but that's, you know, not all that important. That, and away we go. To Skyrim. Uh-huh. Elena, what are you doing? Okay. I was wondering what was happening there. So, um, let me see here. I guess we've done what we need to do. Let's, uh, you have a museum, you don't need a plot of land? Well, you'd be surprised what you can do with it. Let's hunt down a thief in Whiterun. Uh, hunt down a fugitive in Whiterun. Recover an heirloom from Banner Mist Tower. And that's it. I like how there's a deliver a letter to little Vivek. Like, seriously, Little Vivek is up here. <laughs> There's actually deliver a letter to them, that, that area. That's interesting. Like, the missive board is that sophisticated that it understands the mod exists and can uh, go there. Kind of funny. All right, that'll do it. Let's go out to the road, and surely we won't see a dog or anything special out there. That, uh, that definitely won't happen. I couldn't imagine it. You are exactly what I was looking for. Um, you were looking for me? Oh, wait, did you just talk? Yeah, Skyrim is now host to giant flying lizards and two-legged cat men. And you're surprised by me? Yeah, I just talked, and I'm continuing to do so. You see, my name is Bobbis, and I have a problem I think you can help sort out. Hold on a second. Um, uh, let me let me pull up. Uh, let me pull this up here. Da, 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 da. I think it was. Um, uh, uh, let me try to find this exact part. I'm I'm clicking here. Hold on. Uh, uh, trying to find... Okay, there's a specific part I'm looking for. And a lot of this is largely irrelevant. I'm just uh, trying to figure out what's going on here. God, those Red Guard cutscenes are special. And this... Um, this guy's trying to be a VTuber. That's not exciting. Ah, oh, okay. Found it. So let me see. Looking for the actual Clavicus Vile section. I, uh, I can't find it right now. Unfortunately, uh, searching the YouTube videos is a bit uh, much here. See, there's Nagasta. Ah, here we go. So, um, let me see here. Ooh, I'm looking for the actual Bobbis scene. Um, yeah, j just so you can see uh, what Bobbis looks like. It's kind of... Okay. Uh, let me see here. Doo -doo. Almost. Ah, there we go. Okay. So, um, here, here's Clavicus Vile. This is this is someone's Let's Play, by the way. Uh, as you can see, they, this is their Let's Play. He always had presents for me. You like presents, eh? Got to have presents. No presents, no fun. Sure, wish I had a nice present. Hint! Hint! Okay, so, uh... Yeah, this is someone's Let's Play, as you can see his little snake avatar there. So, 
but um, you figure. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a flask for Sister Soul. There we go. View this priceless flask for my sister's soul. Oh, Cyrus, a present for me? You shouldn't have. But thank you. It's a unique addition to my justly famed collection of enchanted artifacts. All right, you've got the flask. Give me my sister. Cyrus? I didn't offer to make a trade. You gave me a present. I'm happy with my present feeling generous. So, let's speak in earnest of your sister's soul. You just gave him a present. Look, look, I, I just, I tricked you out of, uh, out of a present, and now we're actually gonna trade for your sister's soul. You know, <laughs> it's uh, you know, Clavicus Vile, Prince of Bargains, uh, fucks people over basically. That's it, he he got severely downgraded in later games. You have to admit, like as far as uh, being a Prince of Bargains. Still waiting for it. I'll give my blood for my sister's soul. Hmm, blood is nice, but your blood is not worth a soul, Cyrus. Did you see that? Bobbis turned into Cyrus for a second. Not spoil of fun, Cyrus. You're supposed to figure it out. But here's a hint. But do you know anything about the worth of a soul? For example, all the fun I'm having with your sister's soul right now? I'd hate to give that up. Your name is well chosen, Vile. But I know the worth of my soul. And I'm ready to wager it against my sister's soul. Are you sure? You know, that thing I'm doing with your sister's soul right now? I'd love to do that little thing with your soul, too! Yes, exactly. Uh, the, the Prince of Bargains and Trickery is, uh, hold on. We need to get straight. Your soul's not worth a penny unless you know its value. The cast knew its soul's value, but you do not. So I have to explain it to you. First, you think you lose, you die. And that's the end. It's not. You lose? You live, and your soul is mine. Just like your sister. And it goes on for a very long time. Understand? I understand, Vile. Let's just... Yeah, but... Uh, yeah, Clavicus Vile is... Special. And Bobbis is, like, transforms between different forms it's it's spooky like they uh they never really captured that kind of clavicus vial again and it makes me kind of sad and and bobbis being this mutating monster that changes between different forms that's gone too damn shame damn shame still insane All right, so what could a dog need help with? My master and I had a, a bit of a falling out. We got into an argument and it got rather heated. He's kicking me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. I see. Well, um, that sounds easy enough. Um, oh, oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Are you lost, little puppy? Let's let's do that one. You're very funny. <laughs> My master's clavicus vile, Daedric Prince of Wishes. As you can imagine, he's quite the important person. Mm hmm Let's go find him. Thank you. Now, since he banished me, Vile's been rather weak. He can't manifest very far from one of his shrines. 
I know there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's shame. We should be able to talk to him there. If this works out, I'll make sure you're rewarded. Hey, just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay? Okay. Well then. Oh my goodness. It looks like we have to travel with Barbus to Hamar's shame. Technically, we don't even need to travel with Barbus. We can ignore Barbus entirely. I like how uh, Kinnereth wants me to kill that horse. Um, Kinnereth is just bloodthirsty. He wants all the animals to die. All right, let's see here. Uh, kill the dragon. Okay, you know what? We're going to peel off and kill the dragon. We're not actually going to travel with Barbus, I think. Because uh, Bobus wants us to go all the way over to, like, here. In this area. Hamar Shame, over there. Yes. Yes, you like how Clavicus Vile knew what a penny was? Exactly. Hey, he's an eldritch uh, abomination. He probably has knowledge of realms beyond our uh, comprehension. Can't you use Bobus as a tank? Yeah, but I also have, like... A good degree of followers uh, who would also be good tanks. And I can summon four skeletons to serve me. Uh, remember, I'm uh, a bit on the uh, on the spooky side. Yes, it's no big deal. Just something to know about. Yes. Okay. Well. I'm uh, just going to peel off here, I think it is. Is this where the Dragon's Peak is? Of course it's not. We're nowhere near it. Hmm. Bone Chill Passage leads up there. i place the marker. We've got to kill the dragon through Bo Bone Chill Passage, yes. That's where we're going. Uh -huh. Oh, the dog left. There's the dog just kind of behind here and has not been able to catch up. I give up. That bastard is uh, too slow. We're going to ignore him. Yes. I was going to say, no, there's multiple reasons why Bobbis and the skeletons would be a bad idea. Let's go this way, though. Oh, we got bandits that are trying to snipe me. Great. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, uh, hide behind the tree. Good. Okay. Okay. I just need a dragon's hide before I thought about fighting bandits. Something about uh, snipers doing snipey things. Like this ranger here. She, uh, as you can see, needs to die. Bunker. You are as good as dead. Are you? Are you? More than ready. So that's one. I like how Elena got a buff. I'm ready, more than ready. Yes. Both of you. Let's let's hit them both with rally. Come to think of it. Yes. Good. They're both hit with rally, so now they won't flee. There'll be one more bandit to fight. Pretty sure. There's usually two bandits here, not just one. That's all you Yes, that rock is... Oh, there's... Look at Bobbis! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Bobbis, what happened to you? You picked the wrong dinner, animal. Damn. Bobbis the arrow catcher, yes. Oh, jeez. We're harvesting these wolves. That's a savage gray wolf. Extra savage. That extra level of savagery, unfortunately, didn't cause it to get any extra... Um... Oh, there's an elk here. I thought I'll take that. I was going to say, the extra level of savagery didn't give it any uh, spare 
uh, meat or flesh, unfortunately. No uh, little things. Let's see. Yep. Bone chill passage is this way. We got to go around, up and around. Save the game here and keep going. Thing looks great. Okay, what do we got? There are... Uh, they're bandits, okay. Uh, uh, bandits are trying to snipe me. Of course they are. So before they have the opportunity to snipe me, let's uh, go ahead and hit them with a, uh, a little... Uh, wait, raise walls a concentration spell. No. I was hoping for a uh, an immediate and semi-permanent one. Uh, bed, bridge, or crafting station. No thanks. Mm, dragon hide is what I wanted to cast, actually. Let the uh, bandits fight amongst themselves while I uh, buff myself again. I was just a pretty face. Yes. God. This ah! bandit berserker is a bit. Oh crap! Look at that one. He he managed to use a magic spell to drain my magic. It's unfortunate for him that I'm way stronger than he is. He is spraying a, a good deal of frost at me, though. That was impressive. Okay. Oh, I submit. As this bandit berserker lady is quite dead, too. Damn right. Nordic long mace. That's good. Uh, iron trident. Let's grab some bones. What's on this bandit? More bones. Septums. This bandit lady has garbage. We'll take her ale. And there should be a guy down here with a magic staff. All right. He, on the other hand, has um, a minotaur horn. Lord Mail shirt's worth taking. And the creeping cold as well. Take the rest of his bones. And what else we got? Dead bandit here. More sacks and some septums. Another ale. Anything in here? Flame tome. Sure. Hmm, nice. Card of arms. Some dome earrings. Imperial knight van bracers. Some jasper. And wild hunt gauntlets. The jasper belongs in a museum, by the way. But the wild hunt gauntlets, those can be broken down for more moonstone, which is a super rare element in my playthrough because moonstone nodes have been replaced with something else. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Heavy troll bane. Imp of Mara. Some basic stuff. No big deal. Uh, let's see. A warhammer of burning. That's an enchanted warhammer. We'll take it. We'll also grab that venison steak for later. These people got cooked and good. I'll take that Dunmiri tunic of hers. No reason not to. It's uh, quite valuable. Uh, at least we assume. We haven't actually appraised it, but hey, whatever. All these pelts, this looks like it was a hunter's camp before it got completely overrun. We will gladly take what we can. This bandit leader has a uh, unique helmet. Pretty important. I think we've killed him a couple times, or we've gotten his helmet a couple times, I should say. We have multiple copies of it, which would be hilarious if there's a quest that involves it. No big deal. Like, which one of his helmets should we get? Do all the helmets disappear when I complete the quest? Probably not. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't need any of this stuff. I think we're done here. Kind of funny. Oh, this bandit had a lockpick I could have and a steel club. We still want to gather steel, come to think of it. We don't need any more iron, that's for sure, but we can definitely gather some steel. Occasionally, we look at weapons and say, well, I'll take that weapon because it looks unique or... It um, you know, has some kind of property to it, like magic. Why? Why? Are you kidding me? That that is that, those are kill cams. Skyrim kill cams, amazing. Okay, I'm going to ignore all this and grab the spider ingredients. Then we'll dispose of the spider. Looks like Rumarin's here to kill that. Yes, that's the last of them. Very good. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
Well, Bobbis isn't just a dog. Bobbis is a, at least in, in Redguard, he was an eldritch abomination that shapeshifted between different forms. It was quite frightening uh, to see him with Cyrus's face and in a dog body. Yep. It is a damn shame. Oh, goodness. Look at these remains. They're still around. Makes me question everything. Like, the game hasn't respawned this location yet. Okay. Let's continue. Hmm. Sounds like something around here. Oh, it's a spider. Okay. And they're dead. Yeah, it's a spider. And they're dead. Okay. We're going to extract this. Harvest the ingredients. Spiders are nice for that. You can get spider silk and some various other ingredients off of them. But uh, for the most part, we want to dispose of the corpses and continue onward. How close are we to the uh, keep, by the way? Huh? We got to go kind of north up the uh, road. In the meantime, I'd like to access these beehives and get... There should be more than one beehive, hopefully. Uh, I guess because it's raining, the bees aren't out and flying around. Normally, you can loot a bunch of bonus bees, like bonus ducks, but instead bees. Uh, no big deal. Correct. Uh, spiders in this uh, playthrough are uh, don't just have an exoskeleton. You see, they're bone eaters. They they don't just drain blood either. They they eat uh, animals whole, and they have their bones inside their their spider stomachs that they totally have in this playthrough. Hey, what, what do you think? A uh, spider just has an exoskeleton, and that's it. You, uh, a carapace that holds them together. It's ah ah ah. No no no. We get small animal bones from them. And that's just how it works. That that's that's how the video game works. Okay, very good, very good. Mm hmm. Ooh, blood seeker. Yes. Huh. I was expecting like a whole army of bandits to jump me when I opened that chest. Turns out there's no one here. Oh, never mind. Afflicted rem remnants. Take that, bastard! Huh. Wow. That's your friend. So you think you've uh, dealt with all the afflicted? Well, there's more afflicted. Damn. I will gladly take your elven gauntlets, though. Thank you very much. Your steel war pick, dwarven dagger. Don't need your ring mail, though. Your ring mail is kind of worthless. Same thing with your branded iron. Do not need. But I will gladly take the steel. All right. Rumarin, need to talk to you. Yes. Do Like snakes that swallow the prey hole. Yeah. What do you think they do? Just bind the enemy up in a little uh, ball and then... Uh, and then drink their blood? from their shriveled up remains, that would be too uh, mundane. I mean, to make things weirder. That's how we'll make things weirder. All right, Elena, let's discuss the um, food that I have, various as it is. So much junk, animal fat, bear items. Black Soul Gems. Can't wait to fill more Black Soul Gems. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Wrap them up in a nice little web, inject them with venom, and then uh, drink their soup. Pretty much. Okay. Right. Well, we need to use our crucible here. And once we use the crucible, we'll put away all the alchemy ingredients in it. Decent amount of alchemy ingredients, gotta say. Decent amount. That might be the source of some of my uh, issues there. Just, you know, how many wolf claws do you have? Uh, how many wolf hearts? Which vampire dust? 
Eight wolf livers, jeez. I assume they're liver fragments, because I haven't killed that many wolves. We need to go up towards Helgen and then cut across. Gotta get to a cave where we fight a dragon. Not actually gonna deal with the dragon right now, but uh, this, this is the path up, yeah. It's a path up, I should say. As long as we get up into the hills, we should be fine. Our goal is a cave kind of against the wall here. In fact, that is the entrance to the cave, I believe. The Nordic ruins kind of show us that that's the path up. Ooh, wolves have extra livers just in case. Ooh. Look, a cave. An exciting place to venture if you know what you're doing. Ah, right, Elena. Elena knows exactly what we're doing. Okay. We're going to sneak on in, because we're probably going to have... It's called Bone Chill Passage, so we're probably going to have to fight a lot of skeletons. Or worse. Hmm. That is a ferocious... A feral snow wolf. Okay. Victory ice raids. Wait, does that Ice Wraith not know we're here? There we go. Gotta get those Ice Wraith teeth that don't seem... Ah, oh, there we go. That's a Draman. That's a, that is just strictly a Draman up there. Oh, nice. A new book. Heavy armor. Belongs in a museum. Yes. Ooh, what's this? Triple pearl double... Uh, yeah, or, sorry. Uh, dangle earrings. Or ebony. This is near Carth Waste, and there's a uh, an island where we'll get some treasure. Mammoth tusks. What are mammoths doing in a place like this? Well, maybe they got dragged in. Their corpses got dragged in here. It's very possible. I mean, there are bandits here, so they were probably doing some poaching. What do you think the hunters do once they're? Uh, once their poaching fails, dance and fire. Okay. Belongs in a museum. Probably doesn't, but who cares? Yes, what are Mammoth Tusks doing here, Ramarin asks. All right. We got him. Damn. We got him. Dragon bones and scales. What's down here? Huh, I expected more bone chilling things. There's a couple skeletons here. I suspect this was supposed to be a frost troll. That would make the most sense. That this was a uh, frost troll cave where the bandit's dead. And the frost troll's sitting on the bridge here. That would make the most sense in vanilla Skyrim. But they decided to put a drama in here, and that's fine. Drama in our uh, A OK. And there's a bunch of dead people. All right, so this is not the cave I thought it was. But it'll get us where we need to go to fight a dragon, I assume. And there's a drama skeleton. Hello. Wow. Okay. Did you see that dragon just perched over there? What is happening? The dragon isn't doing anything. I'll kill you where you stand. But its minion is amazing. Yo. Elena tried to hit the dragon, and instead everything else went crazy. Oh no. Back in your hole, dragon. Is it ser is Rumarin seriously slashing up the dragon, the dragon not giving a shit? Okay, yeah, Rumarin slashing up the dragon, the dragon's not giving a shit. That is hilarious. I'm gonna quick save it. I'm gonna disable the dragon and re-enable it. Uh hold on a second. Uh wait, wait. Is that a drama in white? No, oh, that's yo wait, yo. yo. Yol Loot Mar. Yol Loot Mar is his name. 
Mm. The game will not disable him for any reason, apparently. So we're going to actually reload the game here. Yeah. We're going to earn a reload there. Because I don't know what happened. The dragon just sitting there. Seems a bit off. Just, just a bit. Just a bit off. Yeah, so something just seems weird with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Interesting. Yeah, disable ain't doing anything to this. Hmm. I'm looking at the command console, and it's, uh, it's only typing in capitals. I mean, it probably has nothing to do with it, but, uh... That's an interesting little uh, glitch in the matrix. Let's just move him to me. Let's see if that works. Okay. So he can be moved. Huh. That's really weird. Kill it and resurrect? Well, that, that would establish a few problems if I did that. I'm gonna run over here really quick. Ancient Descent discovered. And that should do it. Like, moving it to me here. Speak if you have aught to say worth the listening. <laughs> oh, my. Yes. Yes, that's hilarious. Well, I think what we'll do is something a little more simple. We'll just uh, reload right here and see if he's... Uh, uh, he's fixed it <laughs> that's kind of funny though that that was an interesting uh break in the game and how it functions i mean i could just kill him and that would be that but i suspect that um oh yeah he's fixed he's fixed we fixed him <laughs> Oh boy, did we fix him. We fixed him with a vengeance. I just need to really quick enable dragon hide before I uh, go and fight this dragon personally. I'll let my followers deal with him right now. But, uh, aren't my oh, here, here we go. We get knocked down again because that damn uh, dramen or whatever the fuck it is that's uh, shooting Fusro does around. I'm hiding behind a wall here to avoid any more Fusro does on me. There we go. Uh, yeah. Okay, that'll do it. We gotta kill these scourges while we have the opportunity. Uh, okay, this is not gonna go well. This is not gonna go my way. Okay, four, four skeletons. One, two, three, four. And then I need to get up and pass the dragon. Yeah. If I can just, uh, the dragon's flying. Okay, that's good. If we can kill these Draman and make them stay dead, that'll be ideal. Yeah. The white is resurrecting itself. That looks like. No big deal. Looks like that both the white and the scourge are both resurrecting themselves. This is a problem. Yes. Here we go. The white is dead. The uh, scourge is next. Good. What are you doing? Yes. Oh, what am I doing? I'm fighting dragons. Yes. What are you doing? Go for the crunch. Go for the crunch. Yep. I'll kill you where you stand. I did not kill him yet. Yo loot mar needs to be processed. Yo loot mar, you belong in a museum. Uh, jeez, here we go. Okay, we're going for the lightning bolts. Uh, jeez, hold on. Uh, this is gonna be something. Need, uh, more magic -oo, please. Thanks, game. We're waiting for it. We're sitting him with our unlimited power. We don't have a... Like, this doesn't drain any magic. This spell is free. So... Then we'll hit him with uh, the good damage. Hopefully we don't get tail swiped and instantly killed, but whatever. 
Here we go. Hey. Let's go down. You almost got him. Okay. Come on. One hand to weapon increase to 90. Yes. Beard Ancient's Ascent. It's a vicious cycle. Very good. We did it. Okay. Dragon Seal. Let's go ahead and grab from Yolut Mar. We got some blood. Got some ingredients. Let's butcher that meat. We uh, need to keep butchering. It's going to take a moment to... Okay, there we go. And Yolut Mar just had... Uh, <laughs> we, we had no loot. Got it. Just uh, th some Alicia's. We can uh, sell pretty easily. It's not a big deal. It's just... Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yolut Mar doesn't want to go to the museum. All right. What do we got? What word did we learn? Animal allegiance. We can have the animals. All right. Dragon Knight heavy armor. Jeez, what is this, 81? That's amazing. That belongs in a museum. <laughs> of course it does. Of course Dragon Knight heavy armor belongs in a museum. Why wouldn't it? I mean, look at this stuff. Um, hold on, where is it? Uh, there it is. Okay, so... That is some pretty beefy armor. It looks like ebony, but then it's got... It's like with the texture of dragon bone. I don't know how to describe it other than it's amazing. Hmm. Well, this area is pretty basic. I think this is where the Falscar thing... Uh, uh, not Falscar, Worm's Tooth. Like, the first encounter with the dragon was supposed to happen in the original um, version of the mod. I'm pretty sure this is the case, actually. Um, as I remember Worm's Tooth specifically, you, in the original version of Worm's Tooth, you're supposed to gather the crew, uh, like the, the entire uh, dragon-killing uh, group. You're supposed to go and find them yourself. The author skipped that part in the later versions and just said, you know what, They're, the crew's already gathered. You just need to join up with them and fight the dragon. Which, uh, honestly, considering how how dumb um, some, some of these people, like one person was in prison and you had to get them out of prison, either by paying their bounty or uh, by freeing them. Um, it was kind of ridiculous, as I remember it. Like the first version of Worm's Tooth. They, uh, they definitely dealt with that, though. So, yeah, we finished the bounty. Killed the dragon. No problem there. It's a shame that a new dragon will replace it in, like, three days. <laughs> really not three days, but quickly. Let's put it like this. Very quickly. Um, the respawn timer on objects is three to seven days, provided you haven't been in the area. If you've been in the area, it could be longer. But, um... Yeah, let's see here. Uh -huh. I nearly was killed in that instant. I'm pretty sure that's a day drop. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a grand elixir of health fortification, and I need another resist fire and frost potion. All right, the potion should be there. Oh god, that's a high elf. That is a high elf. A very angry high elf. Okay, I got I got your magic. Oof! Damn! Just an angry, angry high elf in, in frost armor. Look at this guy. Yeah, glacial heavy armor. Bastard, that's who he was. Just a bastard. Flinging fireballs at me. Look at that beard. No wonder he attacked me. My skeletons didn't even have time to catch up. That's sad. Yeah, right, let's see where we are. We're basically at uh, the Greenwood Shack. Uh, slash Prospector Shack, depending on what you want to call it. 
All right, there is the camp overlooking the Sleeping Giant Inn. That's something we have to do. Um, there's a quest up there for us. Hmm. Turn is uh, objective we have to kill as well. Skeletons could use some beards. Oh no, that would be uh, a bit, just a bit on the silly side. Just a, just a little bit. Not a, not a whole lot, but you know. Let me see if there's anything else we get here. I don't think so. I don't think so. Everything looks good. We can just head on out. Let's go. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's... Yep. Is that the bandits? No, oh, they're just red wolves. Okay. They're, they're not even real powerful animals. They're just kind of annoying. Yep. Excuse me. Why so many wolves? Harvest. Okay. Uh, same deal with each wolf, I figure. No reason not to uh, give ourselves the alchemy ingredients. The game wants to pummel me with wolves constantly. I might as well profit a bit. The actual pelts don't get me anything. I made the pelts worthless um, in the mod configuration menu to make sure that uh, I didn't get that much money that quickly. I mean, we eventually uh, tipped the balance, but... Uh, it took us a while to tip the balance, let's just say. Oh god, it hurts! I like how my heavy armor went up. That's funny. Okay. What tried to snipe me right there? I'll kill you Is that the death. second bandit? Not the death guardian. Watch the archer, he's a bigger coward than I am. Skeleton death guardian, what even? I'll take everything, but that was a perfect sword. Where'd they come from, these skeleton guardians? Ah, uh, this one's uh, assembling itself. They're both face. assembling themselves, actually. That's a white berserker. Are these the ones? No, these, these are completely different. Hmm. Huh? Yes. Should be fine. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. No big deal. Those skeletons were practically nothing. Um, I guess we could go down and collect the bounty, then kill uh, Hearn. I, I think we can wait on killing Hearn. There's no reason to go backwards. Um, hmm. Though we, like, because the same time we kill Hearn, we can collect the, that bounty. It's just something we can do later. Uh, let me see here. What was this? Uh, this particular quest? Or Kalimic, right? I never returned to Kalimic. I, I did his job and then ignored it. I think we should go up and investigate the camp overlooking the Sleeping Giant Inn and try to get that lady's tools. Uh, that uh, that face sculptor lady needed uh, tools. Basically, We're not talking about the Riften one either. She's the, the crazy one who works on undead. Like uh, She's a special sort of face sculptor can um, can make one corpse look like another stuff like that she's uh, very particular uh, but yeah she needs her tools back and she uh, was that the one though is that where uh, let's double check it uh, yeah it's the uh, it's right there in other words, we're going the wrong way. The Helgen escape tunnel is not what we needed. <laughs> oh, jeez. Although we are getting to a point now where we should probably consider Helgen reborn. Um, yeah, I guess that might be another hundred or two hours off, actually, because I'm just considering all the, the things we want to do and the order we want to do them in. And I think I want to progress the main quest a little more. Um, earn a little bit of respect for Skyrim and its traditions, you know, by actually battling the dragons uh, as a part of the uh, quote-unquote main quest before I actually do Helgen Reborn, because Helgen Reborn, like, flat out, 
you know, you, you're basically becoming the ruler of a hold almost, and you'll have to put up with these, uh, these Nords, uh, which my character barely tolerates right now. Um, so, uh, again, we'll need to earn, well, we'll need to get some more respect for them, and that, how we do that is by, uh, taking part in their traditions, I suppose. Uh, currently, the only Nords we really respect are the, uh, you know, the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild, because they seem to be smarter than the others. The, the companions were useful tools, but we never really earned their respect as brothers, you know? That was, they, they've always been beneath me from the get-go. Now, let's see here. There's a lot of wisps around here. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go be fighting some wisps in a second, I imagine. All right. I mean, glow dust is nice to get, but uh, not quite what I originally thought. Hold on. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. There's a wisp mother around here. I'll be taking that wisp. There. Hey. Yes. No core? There's a core. Good. Got her. Yes. Uh, the Ring of the Wisp Mother. Don't care. It's wrappings and glow dust. I'll take it. All right. Looks good enough. Is this the place or is it somewhere else? No, it's somewhere else. But let's investigate this tower anyway because it looks different. South Skybound Watch. Well, this is a dungeon. Hmm, not sure I want to go inside it at the moment, but I'd love to check for a chest up top. Damn right. Glass helmet? Sure. I don't need it, but I'll take it. Uh-huh. I want to see if there's anything up there in that other section. God damn it, game. Whatever. Uh, primitive Nord Helm. Ah, that's cute. Well, we don't need anything from over there, so we need to keep going. Up this uh, hill, there should be another fortress we can check out. Let's continue looking. Hmm. Actually, hold on. There might be another quest I want to uh, look at. Much to do about the Snow Elf, Diplomatic Immunity, Awakening, Not Shattered Legacy, Dragon Hunt, Lots of Deep Home, Hold on, Bone Worm Helm... Let us whisper. Let's see, destruction ritual spell, stone hole mine, Luthia's calling, keg breaker. I'm looking for a very specific quest that I may have done before. Paper mirror is uh, something we can do later. Hmm. Call of nocturnal, gray cow nocturnal specifically. Uh, Path of the revenant is blood mirror crypt. That's something we'll do later. Rift underground, immortal coil, pilgrim's passage. Something else. It was a uh, completely different... Ah, uh, oh, there we go. The, the monument. I was looking for a uh, Nordic runestone. Okay, so it's over there. That's what I didn't do. Okay. I've actually found a Dwemer monument, but... Okay, there's a Snow Elf Shrine here. Like, right freaking on top of me. I have to find the Snow Elf Shrine. It should be in this location. And that's one of the pieces. I thought the runic stone would be here because there's Nord ruins all over the place, but no, there's a uh, Falmer shrine right over here. Yeah, I'm so glad I inspected my quest log for that. So here's the Falmer shrine, and let's activate it. Uh, there should be a way to activate it. There it is. Good. So that's the second shrine. Uh, when we get the third shrine over here, um, we'll have to come back for this later. We've been by this place like a thousand times. We just didn't find it. Um, when we go back and look for the runic Nord, uh, Nordstone, Nordic runestone. Yes, <laughs> that, that's great. Runic Nordstone is, is going to be something from now on. Um, all right. So we go down here and, um, in the silent moons camp, there will be a, um, an item we need um, it, it, hidden inside of the bottom of the dungeon. 
Like there's a little trap door that opens as soon as you get all three locks. And that's where we can get a codex. It will give us a power. Yes, a power. It's one of the adventurer's relics. If you're wondering uh, what the adventurer's relics are, they're specific relics tied to the adventurer's guild. Uh, one of which happens to be uh, Sans Torch. Uh, that infinite use torch I was using that I actually, yeah, here it is. Sans torch. That's one example of uh, an adventurer's relic. This torch never burns out. Um, another example would be this bottomless bag that increases your carry weight by 200. And sometimes you randomly will find an item in it that you didn't have before. Uh, th those are all examples of... Um, legendary like adventurer's relics. Stone hands is another one that um, gives you a bonus, doubles your damage with pickaxes, increases your speech, and unarmed by uh, 10 points. It's kind of a multi-purpose, but we use it to increase our speech craft when we're uh, buying and selling. So that's what we use it for. God, I forgot about this apron. It's awesome. Makes your uh, potions 10, uh, sorry, 8% more powerful. Yeah, I can't wait to stack that on with all the other potion stuff. All right, we've we've done a good job so far. Gotten, found a lot of stuff, made a lot of progress in a short amount of time. You know, Bobus will just randomly show up at uh, Hamar Shame when we get there, but we're not going directly to Hamar Shame for some time. Uh, let's throw down a save here. My goodness, my goodness. All right. Well. Next thing we need to do is get to that overlook and probably can just kind of run up the side of the mountain here and get to it more easily than having to fight those hag ravens. I'd rather not go over to the hag raven witch area. I kind of want to go around it. If we look right here, you'll see this, this little grove here is where the hag ravens are supposed to be. But I think that I'm supposed to be... Let's take the local map here. A local map says camp in, in front of the sleeping giant. Okay, so it's actually down the mountain. Jeez. Uh, oh, there's another. Uh, you see that little um, that little line in the middle of nowhere? That is a thing you have to hit with a peg. Uh, you you literally have to hit a hammer into a like uh, you have to hammer a, a peg into a hole. That is. Um, that's uh, seriously a, a part of the Train Whiz quest. Yes. That that little invisible line there. Oh, no, no, that isn't it. That's the light from the shrine. My bad. It looks like the peg that you have to stick into the hole, which is completely different. You know, um, is it a reference to something? Of course it is. Everything's a reference. Oh, uh, jeez. Come on, come on, come on. Down we go, down we go. Uh, yep, these bandits are coming. They're gonna be angry. I'm here. No way. This is I summoned a skeleton to distract them. So that bandit berserker needs to be fought. Hey Ford, how you doing? Do you like bones, friend? I like bones. You're welcome to touch mine. All right, then. What? Oh God. What even killed the skeleton? All right. I'm looking for a hip bone that's been altered. Hips are my favorite. Ship it like a butterfly. <laughs> uh, Except they aren't made of butter, but bone. Okay. Hips are my favorite. Ship it like a butterfly. Except they aren't made of butter, but bone would you be willing to sell me some of your hip bones oh no you can't put a price on bones that's just wrong i see when did you start collecting bones about three years ago lost everything to bandits should have listened to that traveling carpenter he was replacing the locks around the village i almost said yes until he started trying to sell me on replacing the floorboards What's an Imperial know about fine Nord craftsmanship? So I told him to peddle his snake oil somewhere else. A month later, 
Bandits raided my home. Came right through the front door. <clears throat> what happened next? They robbed me. Beat me. Left me for dead. I could reach into my stomach and touch my insides. It was real soft. Not like bone. I say. I slumped to the ground, laying my back on the wood. It was rough to the touch. My hand caught a splinter. I thought, even in my final moments, the gods still saw fit to mock me. But when I turned to look at my hand, I saw something rocking gently under the bed. It was an elf potion. I see. Uh, let's see. D -d 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 -d. Bone meal has no health properties. Uh, he said, uh, uh, Divine saved you. Praise the divines. Gods are great. Uh, maybe we should collect health potions then. Yeah, let's go with the divines. The divines are great. No, divines didn't save me. I was alive, but not safe. I started wandering around, sleeping in abandoned tents and moldy caves. But one day, I found a cave that was warm. Had clean beds, stocks of food. I couldn't believe my luck. Too tired to think it was the bad kind. I slept better than I had in years. Would have slept right through my own death when the bandits came home. That is, if not for the rattle by the entrance. <laughs> Heard it loud and clear. Bones. Sweet, wonderful bones. So a bone wind chime? I picked up my axe and ambushed the bandits in their own home. But in the end, it was the bones that saved me. I see. So tell me about your bone collection. I hoped you would ask me about my bones. I have all kinds. Orc spines, elf legs, and little chicken bones you can wear around your neck. The hands are made from a kajit, I think. A lot of sand in the joints. The fingers are fun to look at. So many little bones. I also have a nice set of hip bones with me too. But it's not part of the collection. Because they're confusing. By Hizmir's beard. I can't tell whether they belong to a man or a woman. It's very important I know what type of bone I'm handling. I see. Uh, let, let me see here. It's because it's not a real bone, it's fake. Hmm? I hadn't considered that. Would explain the peculiar shape. Well, I don't want anything to do with a fake set of bones. Here, you take it. Okay. That's all I needed to do. I can return to her with the hip bone now. The one I needed. Goodbye. Yep. As for the bandits, though, we have to deal with these. They are quite... Double Daedric Axe. That belongs in a museum. Damn right. We just got a uh, museum item axe. Excellent. Let's take the steel. Uh, what else? Might as well take her boots as well. What's in the chest? Glass axe, the blaze. Uh, check his everything, and we'll talk to Rumarin about the fact that I'm massively over encumbered again because I keep picking up junk, and this junk is very important to me. There is so much of it, you see. So much of it. We're gonna have to actually go into the gallery soon and process everything back into it. Once again, it's one of those, oh boy, it's the, it's time again, almost. But, um,. Yeah, it's pretty nice we found that double Daedric Axe. That is great that we got another museum item. Very happy about that. Uh, let's see, though. Uh, I suppose Elena should be here, but isn't for some reason. Well, since this is a weird kind of situation... Oh, interesting. You're, you're just laying there with your head in... Uh, oh, wow. Okay. That's exactly where you, uh, you put your head to go to sleep. All right. Uh, let me see here. We are going to now uh, teleport my followers over. Very good. The thigh bone connects to the back bone. Oh, no. The back bone connects to the neck bone. Right. That guy's crazy. Elena, I need to talk to you, and I need to give you some stuff as well. I, that raw dragon meat is weighing down heavy on me, along with their bones. You should ha give him some dragon bones. Give him a lust for dragon bone collecting. And then it'll be the death of him. Kind of funny because I'm a bone collector as well. You, you may be wondering, well, 
Hey, are you really a bone collector? That that would be silly, right? And um, the answer is unfortunately a uh, yes. Um, let's see. I was gonna say if we look at uh, this, we sort by bones. You'll you'll see an unfortunate reality. Aside from the fact that we gave her like ten thousand pounds worth of stuff. Ah, uh, there we go. See. Um, but we, we may have a little problem with bone collecting, I'm just saying. Uh, just a few, just a few bones, okay? Not, not, not a lot, all right? Not, not a lot of bones. Don't worry about it. Okay, so we, we did what we needed here. Um, yep, uh, it, we had to kind of jump down the hill. It's most unfortunate. We're basically on a different lo level of height from this, so... Being the Hamar shame would actually be a pain in the ass right now. Hmm. I'm thinking it might be just fine to go back to White Run or something else. Hmm. Let's see. The Bandit Leader in the Halted Stream Camp. I guess there, there's some more stuff we can do in White Run. There's three jobs to do there, but we don't want to. So I guess I'll go back up to, toward Helgen and loop back around because Hamar shame seems like the place to go right now. And uh, the reason I mentioned Hamar shame in the first place is because we really need to be picking up, um, whatchamacallits, um, we need to be picking up, uh, the rest of the Daedric relics as soon as possible. Yes, we've, uh, we got Namira's relic, we got, uh, the Augment Finium, and, uh, we got the Spellbreaker all in one quick succession so you know getting um it would be nice let's just say to get a hold of uh something like the uh, mask of clavicus vile and then uh we can take the uh, the axe the um you know the, the the cosmic axe and simply um uh, make a replica of it you know because we're supposed to turn it into clavicus vile and it's like who has time for that have a pie slice and then go down and pick up some water. Figure that might be nice. Water. Yes. Uh, a few sips of water and a pie slice is just what we needed. Anything else? Now we got that hip bone. I'll have to go back by Markarth to turn that in. A lot to do. I think uh, we got a spirit beast. We're gonna snipe it from here. I am kind of pleased with your actions. Let's go harvest the spirit beast. The saber kitty. Uh, else ingredients. We don't need any more saber cat meat. We're kind of maxed out on the things we could cook with saber cat. Not that big a deal. Just something to. Keep in mind there. Ooh. Okay. Good. Do it. Wait, what? Done. Explosion. Another explosion. Those are goblins. Uh huh. Skeletons. Skeleton Thalmor Wizard. Why? Why? Got him. And immediately killed by the Atronach. I had assumed the skeleton Thalmor wizard was the source of the Atronach. And I had assumed that the Atronach would disappear when the skeleton wizard disappeared. I was wrong. And I was killed. Sure, that is a thing that happened. Let's take a moment before we go any further and pray to our Lord Manny Marco. Uh, just a moment, Harry Prayer. There we go, 176.2. The favor decay is still going pretty quickly because uh, you know we're over 100% and we haven't, uh, haven't quite sacrificed more people to him yet. All right, let's keep going. To be careful. We don't actually know the same uh, thing will spawn this time. Because whenever you enter an area... Nope, nope. Same thing spawned. Okay. Well, 
let's do this instead. Let's get into a sniping position. Um, okay, that that is just straight up an Atronach. We can probably avoid. I'm looking at all these enemies. Okay, my skeletons are uh, entering the fray as well. This is just a whole battle. This is a, a battle of skeletons, actually. Uh, geez. Okay, well, I don't want to get instantly sniped by these guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink a resist poison, resist shock, fortify armor, and resist fire and frost, along with a health fortification potion. So I should be good now. Um to tank some of these hits. These are skeletons. They are not uh, active enemies. They are uh, abominations, you could say, aberrations. They shouldn't be alive. And yet here they are, as you can see. They're, they're skeleton storm cloaks versus skeleton downmore. Really bizarre. And it makes me question everything. Yes. That skeleton Thalmor is especially spooky. Okay, his Atronach went away. Hmm. So we successfully purged all these skeletons. We're going to start looting them, which is probably going to prompt them to reform. Yes, it is. But they can reform without minions, and that's the important part. Uh, not minions. Reform without... Uh... Wait, Emilia de Bell and Northern Axe. I was going to say, though, um, these reforming skeletons shouldn't have loot. And that's the important thing. Just stand still. That one had loot. i to deal with it. Yep. Getting hey, soul gems and careful. stuff. God, reforming skeletons are, are uh, quite spooky. What are you doing? Okay. Should be fine with this. Yep. Take his loot. That's a regular Thalmor just this year. Interesting. The group of Thalmor who died here apparently rose from the dead as uh, skeletons. I remember seeing the Thalmor dead here earlier, and now we have not only the dead Thalmor, but we also have skeletons. Kind of weird. Oh, well, no big deal. It's getting kind of late. I'm thinking we should resume this in travel in the morning when we're nice and rested. I'm going to run up here to the corner where no one will disturb us. And I'm going to use Rain's shelter. Yes. Mm, of course, I accidentally give Rain shelter to Elena because that's what I do. I'm very good at that. Elena, uh, give me Rain's shelter back. Thank you. Yes. And then we just use range shelter here and it'll instantly teleport us to uh, the shelter. Very good. We can rest here for eight hours. Be nice and rested. 9 a.m. Journey continues. That's the goal. So we're well rested. Let's hop on out. Okay, talk to Elena regarding uh, food and drink. So, um, go down and just type in stew. We have some uh, venison stew, and we have some orker ash yam. And that should do it. We are well sated. So, all we need to do now is save the game as is. And we can continue. Our adventures to Hamar Shame. We have to deal with a cult of vampires and well, we can get started on our next leg of the journey after we uh, deal with the cult of vampires.